Hello, hello, and welcome to Quackalove, and today we have a very special gameplay for you. Today we're featuring Maximum Apocalypse, Wasted Wilds, and... Which is not this box cover. Which is not this box cover, and uh, we have a new player with us. Mike Gnod from Rock Manor Games, founder and designer of Maximum Apocalypse, and a slew of other games like Lawyer Up, yep. Alter Quest, and Merchants of Magic, which is coming up soon, yep. too. Yeah, that should be in stores like in the fall-ish. Now, we've all had the chance to get shot. Yes, we uh, have. Which is fitting for this game. I mean, it's, you know, a reasonable thing. <laughs> and along oh, with that... Now we, you made me sad. <laughs> Mike, was, Mike was messaging us and saying specifically, I don't trust you to cover this. Quackalope gets so many things wrong. I'm coming down to visit you. <laughs> It's the only way I can guarantee that we do accurate coverage. That, 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 that is, is not that, what I said, but... I, um, I mean, I have the email. Do we want to pull up the documents? Yeah, I'm pretty sure the email said, I think you guys moved close to me, closer okay. to me. Yeah, I hear uh, you. I'd be willing to drive down to hang out it with you guys. It was implied. It was implied. It was 100% implied, yeah. So we are going to be running a... I believe this is the second scenario that we're digging Yeah, into. we're in new mission two, because we uh, sort of played off camera mission one, and, and you guys wanted a little bit more. And this is, this is, sort, of, this is sort of your call, because I'm not sure when this is going up. Is this going up when the Kickstarter is live or when the like follow to pay attention to the Kickstarter coming soon page is up? Uh, Hurry, make a decision well, now. Well, we have the preview page for the Kickstarter ready okay. to go, so, so we'll be. definitely... There'll be a link in the top There'll of the description. There'll be a link to get to the, to get to the to Kickstarter for sure. either direct you to the active Kickstarter right now yeah, or either the Kickstarter is going on or it's coming very yes. soon. Yeah. <laughs> Can you run us through what is new here? Now, I know that this is going to be a standalone in the Maximum Apocalypse series. Yes. Uh, it does integrate back into the old channels, but there's a few things that you're doing that are going to be right. new that we'll be showcasing here in this gameplay. Right. So everything's compatible. So if you're a longtime Maximum fan, and you don't like the Thief, Chef, and Contractor characters, you can bring any of your favorite old characters from the old game and play all the new missions. Uh, there, we, we are doing some things like the Day-Night cards, which we're not using this particular mission, but are in this game. Um, we're in the Gothic Horrors expansion, um, but they will be organized on a clock board. Um, this is a prototype, so we're using a dice to sort of mimic the clock board mm -hmm. for now. Uh, but a lot of this stuff up here is new. We have environmental threats, so Wasted Wilds features, you know, I've, I've, we, this is our third major expansion for Maximum Apocalypse. Mm -hmm. We have smaller, like, box expansions that are like little mini one-offs, uh, like tuck boxes. But this is our first major expansion, our first standalone expansion. But it's also, yeah, it's standalone. Yeah. yeah, and we wanted to introduce something new. You always hear about, you know, apocalyptic things like... The ice caps are going to melt, or you know, mm -hmm. dinosaurs so we wanted, are flooding. Ducks yeah, are slowly we wanted, dying. We wanted, to in, it, we oh, wanted to extinct. We all heard of. Yeah. yeah. So we wanted to. One of the goals of this and where it started was actually like environmental. How am I going to bring environmental things into an apocalypse? Okay. Um, that's how it. That's how the impetus of this set started. Um, um, it was actually codenamed Environmental Collapse for a while. Mm. Okay. Um, and then we finally settled on Wasted Wilds as the official name. So that's where some of our terrain's coming from. That's where our, our environmental right. like deck over right. here that's introducing things like Frostbite are yep. going to be introduced. That's, that's also why it's a standalone, because by introducing this environmental things, we sort of needed a cold set of tiles and a like hot, scorched okay. earth type tiles. So... Um, I th I'm, this game definitely has more tiles than the original game, mm. and that's part of the reason why, is because we had these two different sets. Yeah. Um, also, we wanted to make it easier for players. You don't, have to you don't have to sort through your tiles between apocalypses and missions. You have a cold set of tiles, so if you're playing the, the cold campaign, we've got a campaign now of a, of a certain sequence. It's yep. much, we're doing, focusing more on storytelling, which we'll get to in a bit, since yeah, I brought I was, it up on my phone. I was gonna say, uh -huh. so we have we have new characters here in this deck. New characters. We have new environmental conditions. Yeah. We have new Mechanics tiles we're well. playing yep. with. All new monsters. But we're also, all new monsters, but we're also more specifically pay, playing the second scenario. In that campaign. In the winter, or in the yeah. like frozen tundra campaign. Frozen, frozen wilds. We have, the we have, ducks on ice Yeah, campaign. we have we have frozen <laughs> wilds. The frozen I'll get wilds, in there one of these ways. The frozen wilds campaign, and then we have the uh, scorched wasteland. So that's okay. where wasted wilds. I've heard so that the talk, ultimate boss is a quackalope at the end. I've heard that. Yeah. Talk about how Super this campaign system integrates. Because the the older game, you'd set up, you'd do a one shot, you'd mix some apocalypses together, you'd choose your characters, you'd build your region map here, and then you'd go for it. Correct. But in this one, you can still do that, but you also have a series of different kind of escalating challenges that you could follow. Yeah. So the big thing for our big focus is um, we want it to be much more friendly to new players. So the Frozen Wilds campaign specifically, 
The Scorched Wasteland's a little bit more like, if you already know Maximum Apocalypse, dive Go right in. Sure. Um, the the uh, Frozen Wilds is very slow and methodically introducing you to all the modularity mm -hmm. and pieces of the game as you go. Okay. So you guys, we previewed Mission 1 a little bit so you guys can get your bearings. You know, we didn't even have this piece of the game. We put like there. seven bears in front of him. Yeah, yeah. I <laughs> dealt with all of them. Uh, <laughs> Jan was definitely going to die. We were definitely oh, going to kill no. him first. We were going to let you die first, for sure. <laughs> um... So, you know, we wanted this to be friendly to new and old players alike. Mm -hmm. So if you're an old player, there's tons of new stuff here for you to experiment with. Um, if you're a new player, you can play through the Frozen Wild campaign for Mission 1. Yep. And it's going to slowly introduce you to each piece of the game so you can learn it. Cool. Um, I think I'm ready to, to begin. begin. So, uh, bum, bum, bum. sir, you promised me flavor text. Oh, Lord. You okay. also promised a duck. Uh, I'm waiting for I'm, I'm getting on. The, I'm getting to the duck still. I'm getting to the duck still. Uh... <laughs> I'll figure out how to do it somehow, but um, we can make a duck look, a, a duck look scary. I, it's already been done. I'm not biased from him visiting. I might be biased from the inclusion of a duck. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I'll read the flavor text yep, here. Got on my phone. Okay, uh, we uh, spot some smoke in the distance. Uh, we get the van as close as possible as we can, but it's difficult on these treacherous mountain roads. Our van screeches to a halt, and we hop out to trudge the rest of the way on foot. We can only hope that these people are reasonable and that they have some food to spare. Nope. Otherwise, otherwise, we may have to take it forcefully. Mm, gotta murder some people. Uh, so objective-wise, we want to investigate the smoke source. Okay. Smoke signal source. Okay. This is neat, because in the in the first one, just so people have some context, we were trying to get up into establish, the get up into the mountains, uh, escape, like make sure we got away before the closing of the, uh, the sort of pathways of the valleys. Yeah. We had to gather food, we had to gather gas, and then we had to get back, open a gate, and move forward. That's right. This time we are approaching a settlement of people. Mm -hmm. Well, we see smoke in the distance with, and we've heard that there's people okay. up in these mountains. He, it's not, like, it's not a settlement of people. It could be a quackle. He's, no, he's just yeah. specifically rephrased what I said to indicate that we're approaching no, no, no. a zombie horde that we're going to try to rip our faces off. That's not in this one. Not in this okay, one. Okay, fair. Not in this one. Okay. Um, <laughs> so right now we want to investigate the smoke source. Mm -hmm. uh, we want to. We need four more fuel for the van. Okay. Oh, and wow. we need to return all players to the van uh, to win. Um, oh, God. I'll wait okay. to read. There's more flavor text once we get to this objective. Now, oh. once we investigate this smoke source. Oh. So there may be another star that pops out into the Correct. board? Correct, that's right. Okay, so right, this one was specifically there. said. This is built, in the setup, yeah. This we is built the them out randomly, and this was told to be three spaces away, two spaces away? Uh, yeah. Uh, at least three spaces away. At least away. three spaces away. Okay. So I just uh, randomly counted one, and two, you didn't, three. And you didn't go for the straight line, I see. We'll play that on our own. Uh, one of yeah, these that'll days. be the uh, murder scene. Uh, we'll do. This does have It does have some good holes and intricacies. Though. I do like it. Mm -hmm. It's right. a little more difficult than probably normal. So uh, 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 let's go ahead and get started. I believe we all should have four cards in our hand. Yeah, yeah, yep. we didn't do that yet. So we all start with one hunger on our die. And we have our new characters. And I'm playing with the thief. Uh, mm -hmm. I have 19 health. I have a evasion of 10. And I have a short ranged action which is going to be push move a monster attached to you and attach it to another player in range i'm going to be giving y'all my problems yeah. yeah don't give me another now, bear please it sounds mean but this Appreciate is actually it. fairly strategic because monsters activate at the end of your turn if they're attached to you and so i can actually subvert that a little bit you're playing as the contractor yeah so the contractor is sort of our new tank for this game so if you're yeah. you have 46 health. Yeah, yeah he's very beefy yeah. He's the beefiest character we've ever had, actually. Can you hold me? Uh, no. But you'll notice my stealth is also horrible. You have 10 stealth. You're good at sneaking fast monster So I tokens. can get into your arms without you knowing. I'm a four health, so I'm a big dude with a big sledgehammer who's going to make a lot of noise. <laughs> Just wiggle in. Uh, yeah, but he's our, new, he's our new tank. So for old players who like the samurai or the, nice. uh, the fireman, the contractor is the new tanky, lots of health, soak it up. I dig it. The, the wrinkle to his power... Mm -hmm is that his hunger increases faster than other mm. characters when he exerts himself. Yep, high metabolism. Uh, he also has, uh, my, my base ability is to fortify, um, place a barricade tile, a barricade oh. on your tile. Oh, so I can nice. actually build barricades that's on cool. tiles, which will, 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 will prevent a monster spawn. That's okay. Cool. Okay. And you're playing the cook. Well, I'm his personal chef, basically. <laughs> uh, as a chef, I, I have a cook mid-range ability, and my action says, discard a food card to reduce hunger by the amount on that card for mm -hmm. all players in range, okay? So I'm gonna be very close to our tour mm -hmm. tank there. Which is really cool. Yes, 100%, mm -hmm. and I have 26 health, and my deck basically has a few things that'll make this guy really interesting. I was gonna say, you remember, you remember the thing he mentioned? 
Yeah. As a chef, uh-huh. I carry multiple knives and, and and how do you call these? Uh, Extremely sharp. Some butcher yeah. blades. Yeah. Some, yes. Some cleavers. Uh, cleavers. Yeah. Cleavers. Uh-huh. Yeah. But you know, sometimes there could come some dangers sure. that require a little bit more effort than normal. Uh-huh. So one of the special abilities that I have in my deck is that I can use one of my knives. Uh-huh. And lose it permanently, but it's a one shot I mean, against it, anything. It gets stuck in the uh, in you know, artery of yeah. a creature. Yep. Now, the interesting so thing about So don't get on the my bad side is what I'm saying. I have more cards than your average character. The yes. reason being is my discard pile is going to be where I'm playing from a lot. I'm going to be paying attention to the cards that I've sequenced in there. They'll start powering up and kind of leveling my own abilities. Yeah, you're a little bit of a glass cannon, like roguelike yep. type character where you're going to get stronger as you play. Um, and your discard pile grows. We start the game by rolling dice. Yeah, you're going to go first? I'm going to go first. Of okay. course I am. Oh, wait, no. First, we actually... Hold on one second. Mm-hmm. We didn't finish that up. We always start with a monster in front of us. Yes, we... Do. Oh, oh. Oh, no. You it's a, little, a, it's a, you have a child? It's a person. Yeah. Does he have to murder the child? Yes. Uh, so currently, the Nordic tribe doesn't trust us. So this is one of the new aspects. Well, they're not going to trust us now. Yeah. Um, and you have, you have her father. Hey, yeah. hey, hey. Good news, guys. I found meat that yeah. we could use. Uh, so one of the one of the things we're introducing. Rock Banner Games does not support the words and language yeah. of Quackalope. Um, so we have uh, we have this monster deck, and oh, traditionally no. it's been filled with aliens, zombies, etc. Yeah. But one of the things we're introducing, we're grounding the game a little bit more. We're having like NPC style monsters. So okay. the Nordic tribe is currently hostile to us. So right now they're just going to act like a normal monster would. They're going to deal their damage to us. Yeah. But we can actually, we actually have new actions to us in this game, new basic actions besides the standard move and scavenge, where we can parlay with this tribe. Ah, we can give them the food we find or the fuel we find. Yep. Oh, I don't like that. And it will make them uh, ni- happier with us, nicer mm-hmm. with My us. My ingredients, though. Yeah. I, I mean, you so are very good at cooking food and, and equally among all people. I gotta keep that huge belly of yours filled. Yeah. Um, <sighs> but one of the advantages, if we get these guys into the green range, they will actually uh, become our allies. Yeah, yeah, and they'll trade with us and potentially vote, fight for us. I vote y'all don't do anything to your enemies at the moment. We just negotiate with them. Well, I do have a knife with her name on it. So I All right, don't... now I start by rolling. Yes, now you, start, now you can if start. If I roll an eight this time. Oh, you did, my eight. lord. Uh, so eight, Jesse, we're going to spawn suck. monsters at every tile with an eight. Jesse, you suck. Oh, no, it's a wolf now. Please, not another wolf. Oh, uh, two bears. You both get bears. Why every time I roll dice? I, I it's, it's you did fine in our off camera. Yeah. I did. I don't fine. think you spawned any. I did perfect in our off camera. You know what I also did? I did great before you said, "Oh, there was not time to roll dice." Oh, Jesse, this is your fault. Uh, so the sequence of the game has changed slightly. Care. After you care. roll dice to spawn monsters, uh, you're going to turn a dial on this clock board and advance time. Mm-hmm. Uh, so we're just going to move one space. Mm-hmm. Uh, and one we're of the sort major... of representing twelve six. Three and nine would also have the day-night decks, but they're not in this mission. And as we go through the tiles, the, the, one of the new features of the tiles is that we have indoor and outdoor locations, yeah. but those have effects now. So, for example, being in an indoor location with something happens uh, in this environment would protect us versus being outside, yeah, which we're, would... Yeah, we're inside in the van. We can stay warm. Mm-hmm. We don't get frost-nipped or frostbit. Yep, yep. Uh, so, Thief, Uh huh. with... Oh, no, we have wolves. Gosh darn it. So wolves are bad. For every wolf there there is, uh, they add two additional damage, so they attack in in packs, basically. Yeah, the Uh, more there are, the more dangerous they are. But they are pretty weak. They're only seven health. Uh, Only seven health. (laughs) That's pretty weak in this game. (laughs) Just to verify. Well, I I struggled last time with the bear and the wolf and the other bear. So my turn. I get four activation now. I've already rolled the die. I can push one of them to another player. Mm -hmm. I think I will end up doing that. I did not draw a card. Got a snub nosed and a silenced pistol. You might uh, want to push the bear on the person that can take bears on. Or over here just to delay it the most. I think mm. for now, well, we're going to go me, Jan, you. Okay. Uh, That's so fine. Then push it on me. I'll push it to you. <laughs> That's fine. I, I do have the most health. <laughs> We can't we can't use that always. It's one way. of those weird things when you play ca- when you play games on one side of the table in front of the camera. Yeah, yeah. I lean to the right because okay. that's I'm right handed. Yeah, yeah, it makes sense. But then if you're sitting around the table, you go clockwise. So right. it's it's just an. Um, odd, uh, I will add the good thing about the bears though that we should take into consideration. Yeah. Is that they deal damage to all targets. Yeah, that's the good in thing range. about the bears. So they these this bear will scratch this bear. Yeah. They're gonna deal damage universally Whoa. to all. Oh, it's everything. That's why all targets is underlined on oh. the bears. Oh. 
I, I still don't want to get hit by that. I'm just saying. Yeah, but I mean, at least it's five damage so, across so the board. So potentially, these mm. bears kill everything. Correct. What if they kill the people? Uh, that's fine. The thing we need to worry about is if they kill this poor little child. Yes. Yeah. Hostility by three. <laughs> Oh, that means the Nordic tribe will get really mad. But against the bear, not us, right? No. No, against... Oh, well, that bear has nothing to do with me. <laughs> well, whatever. Okay, Jesse. So um, I'm going to equip mm. I'm gonna equip a snub nose. Mm -hmm. uh, mm. Could you please... Oh, I'll grab him. So yeah, let's do this. Six, so it's not your bullets. discard pile. Uh, well... Where's your discard pile? Let's, I mean, let's, let's, just, let's just... Yeah, there we shift go. Shift around. Fine. Shift around. Somewhere here. Uh. So Snub Nose is going to be a little uh, revolver that I have. I have six bullets with it. I can take an action to deal three damage to a target. Roll a die. If I roll a one, I draw a monster because I attracted them with a the noise. Mm -hmm. If what? I roll a six, I deal three additional damage. That's sort of the key. Ah, uh, those those are extreme mm. odds there, man. Yeah, I have. hear you. I hear you. I do. I want to equip. We something should that kill just one of the wolves. Cards. Just saying. I'm going to use a secondary action to push. Mm -hmm. I think. Oh, this is so hard. Deal additional two damage for every wolf currently in play. You're going to be dealing close to what this big guy is doing, but I don't know if I want to stick you. Yeah, do the you wolf's think, doing Do five. you think you can handle two bears in front of you? I mean, it's 15, 19 damage. It's a lot. Me both. It's a lot. I mean, I can technically take it, yes. 21 health on that dude? Um. Whoa. How is it that we parlay again? <laughs> Um, By giving them, we things. need to find scavenge. We yeah, need to scavenge okay. things first. So we're not, I'm going to give you. Or our equipped items. So I'm gonna, we could parlay and give up his snub nose, but it's much better to give up scavenge cards, in my opinion. I'm gonna Do keep, they use this, the the items later, or they just no, keep it on a stack? They just keep it. Okay. Could I give an empty snub just, nose or a close to empty? Yes, snub nose? it doesn't matter. It's just an equipped card. Yes. Ooh. So when you parlay, you can discard a scavenge card to the scavenge discard. These are the scavenge cards up here. Or you can discard an equipped item. Mm. And they okay. don't care if the snub nose is empty. They've got their own bullets. It's still a weapon. It's very valuable okay. to them. So that's two actions. I'm going to start using my snub nose. Mm -hmm. Three damage here to the wolf. Okay. Then I'm going to you go ahead and roll. Let's, let's see if we can get six damage. We can't. Uh, yeah, you've got the damage tokens over there. And I think I'm going to go ahead and follow up with a second. Okay. Ah, do I want to move? I'm if staying. We, if I, I'm if, staying. If, yeah, if we roll an eight again, we're in trouble again. So it's up to... The eight threw me off <laughs> because now we all, because you said, you said in our playtest, oh like, don't worry God. about the monsters too much. You're going to have to deal with them to some degree. Yeah, you are. But you got to move though. But right sitting now. Sitting on an eight, eight is a likely roll. I'm just saying right now though, we're dealing with all the creatures possible. You know, I'm going to roll an eight, right? Like it's going <laughs> to I'm moving. I'm going to move forward. I'm going to give you guys a little bit of information yeah, so you can make a better so. turn. So I'm going to, I'm going to press here uh, and we're getting the Tundra. Uh, stop. If you move again this turn, exposure. So that's okay. You can perfect. Stop that's perfect. I can pause there for now. But I'm going to laugh so hard if I actually roll a three. <laughs> and we're past the point of me getting frost nip right now, right? Yeah, yeah. Well, uh, until it's, the... it's coming at 12, so you've got yeah. plenty of turns. That's what I'm saying. We're past yeah. the point of me getting frost nip right now. Uh, like, beyond the edge. Yeah. yeah. What's good is we're actually in close to six, where the Nordic tribe will become wary of us instead of angry at us. <laughs> Yay! Which okay. means they won't attack. Which means when they're wary, they attack you just once, and they sort of they don't hunt you down. They're mm -hmm. angry with us right now because we're untrusting new people. They're gonna hunt us down and kill us. But if they're wary, they'll uh, hit us for their damage, but then they're discarded. Oh, that'd be great. So, um, so we want that to tick up ASAP. Yes. Mm -hmm. So we want to hit a six really soon. So if you rolled a seven, that'd be great. Mm. Speaking okay. of, uh, your hunger needs to go up. I think is the yes, sir. Go Number two. Yeah. And you also got three damage, so take that oh, yeah, down, that's right. Mister. Oh, five damage. Five. Damage. Oh, it is still five. What? You're right. Oh, wait, do you not two have one extra? of these? Two wolves. I oh, do. it's right there. It's up here. Oh, it's up here. I'm just avoiding dealing with it. Well, look, I gave you this five one as 14. 14. Just happened to be 14. It's it perfect. perfect. <laughs> yeah, the thief uh, does not have a lot of uh, health. Six. Oh six no. Is safe. Nothing. We're good. I'll but take, it, it was so close. Uh, well, I'll get it on my to the seven. Yeah. The pushing it. I mean, five. I, yeah. I hear you. Just negotiate with him a little bit, though. With Just what? give them something. I don't know. Give them give a knife. Give yeah. Them a knife. Give them, give them uh, knife. I'm not giving them my knives. Are you crazy? <laughs> it's that or the little girl's going to murder you. <laughs> well, she I'm going to murder damage. I you said I need the meat. You cannot murder How her. How do you plan on eating tonight? I don't. You cannot murder her. Mm. The wolves that have, it's just like a musky flavor. You don't this want is, wolves. This is like when we played Frostpunk and we were specifically like, let's maybe not choose the child slavery the first. Heck? Like, you know, it's there. Yeah, it's morally it's there. the right thing it's to do. It's a choice. But, like, maybe for the first video yeah. of the public scene. For morally, we don't go down right down thing that to do, yeah. road. Yeah. Um, 
Hey, Mike. Mm -hmm. I think you might want some painkillers this turn. Maybe. Yeah, that'd be good. You can hook me up. Okay. Inject so, them. I'll eat them. I'm going to play some uh, painkillers. Unfortunately, Mike, I am doing three damage to you, but everything from this point onwards is yeah, reduced by three. Mm -hmm. Deal a survivor in range three damage. Every time that survivor would take damage, reduce it by three until the start of your next turn. <laughs> then I'm going to go ahead for my second action and play my frying pan. So I now have a passive ability. Uh, so short range. This is powerful. I yeah, bang powerful. somebody over the head with my frying pan. Pretty good. Well, explain what a passive ability does. Explain so, how this works. So there's two types of abilities. Uh, abil well, I'm not sure if there's only two types, but the abilities so. that we've seen so far is action abilities, which basically take up one of the four actions that I do every one of my turns. Only we could ask the designer. I think that's right. I think there's only two. <laughs> and abilities. secondly, passive abilities, which constantly happen based on the triggers that mm -hmm. are on the card. So for example, on my frying pan, whenever I get dealt damage, I deal damage yeah. back. Okay. Um, and I'm going to get dealt seven damage in one turn. Mm. That's two two actions. It is two actions. Can you negotiate at all? Because that would get it up into that into that favorable zone. I'm not giving him my frying pan. Yeah. Equipped item. I mean, unless he can find, like, what do you Could, have, two actions left? So, you can move so and scavenge is, if you get lucky on one of yeah. these two. And, and... And doing that is a free action. Negotiation no, free action? No, it's not. So, so you, you couldn't do it. Yeah. I do have a card I could give them, but I don't You would need to equip it first. You have to play it and then yep. give yeah. it to them. Yes, but I don't, I don't want to. Okay, here you go. Then don't. Don't do it. But should I? Be stubborn. Listen, they're going to cool down on my turn. Yeah. They're going to. Jesse, they're going to. So you're, they're going to cool down. They're going to get impartial to us. So here's a question. Is she going to attack me now? Yes. Then yeah. cool down. Yes. And then when it comes back to me, attack me again and then leave? Yes, that's right. But you could be that I don't you like. could be you could befriend her. You, we could befriend her Between after them. that. Yeah, that's yeah. right. I'm going to try to give them some stuff. Mm -hmm. We need to find a place to find some stuff first. Okay? Going there. What do we have? Bandit camp. This is going to be the bandit camp. This is going to be a indoor location, little house symbol there. Discard an equipped gear or suffer 5 damage. I think you're suffering 5 <laughs> damage. Because the odds, no. the, the the frying pan deals really, so much back. Yeah, it's a good card, and it's free action. It's like a free action economy card. It does take up two of your equipment slots, but it's uh, dudes. I am taking twelve Decent damage old this fashion. turn. Very good. Yeah, right. You're very good at making old fashions. <laughs> I'm taking twelve damage this I'm, turn. I'm That's okay. Lot. They're ignoring me. I don't want to be the first to die here. No, you will be. That's okay. If it dies, the play session's over. That's how you the lose the only game. people judging you are a couple thousand people watching. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Those those are the ones I was worried about actually. Well, but, don't worry. Know. I'm gonna I'm gonna fortify this van if we stick around for much. Don't worry, Jan. No one's seeing this. Mm, no one. Mm -hmm. No. Mm -hmm. It happens. We jumped to mission too, guys. I mean, we were doing. Remember how well we were doing before? We were actually doing pretty decent. Yeah. Yeah. Ice cliffs. Oh, uh, Lord. Success. Reduce hunger by one. Fail exposure. This is going to be a test. You're going to be rolling the dice. Based on your stealth, yeah. Based, Based on, on your, your step, yeah. footprints. Yeah, six. Oh, nope, over. It's not going to do it. Exposure, you're going to get frost nip. That's two more damage for frost you. Frost nip. This is going 14 to be... 14 damage on one turn. Two damage every turn. And suffer two damage. Now, the cool thing about this, the thing that you've built into this is you don't just... Everyone just doesn't get frost nip. It starts the escalation. Like, you see someone hiking up Mount Everest. Yeah, it builds up. And they begin going crazy. Their hands turn black. They strip yep. off their clothes. They, you know, the yeah, whole... Paradoxical undressing. Dying. It always starts with frost nip. So that's yeah. just two damage a turn. If... Jan was to draw another card, he would flip this card, he would oh. draw a new card and flip it over, and it would be hypothermia, paradoxal undressing, yes. something much worse yep. than, than Frostnet. I love that system, because you don't quite know what you're going to get, but it's an escalation. Yeah, you that know game. that the flipping's worse, yeah. for sure. Do I get damage now? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I'm just going to put this at two. Well, you're a little hungry. <laughs> Five. Seven. Uh-huh. Nine. Nine. Why'd you say Fourteen. Because I got five from that from that card, so oh, yeah, a total right, of fourteen right, on my, right. on my turn. Math. But you're doing damage back to them, three mm. each. So now they're they're she's 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 about to call home, like she's not happy that I just hit her. No. Oh guys guys guys, Mike save All right, save let's us. Let's pass the dice. Let's see what I can do here. Save us, <sighs> please. I mean, that's why I was trying to go first. I'm the big beefy tank guy. <laughs> Eleven. I Eleven. think we're okay. Nothing. Okay. Okay. Let's take uh, this up. Six. They're going to become wary of us, and I'll draw a card. Okay. It was very short-sighted of him to come visit, knowing that, 
or at least not knowing, I suppose, that Quackalope is the best at cooperative games. Oh, uh, we we we've never lost. As far a as I'm game. concerned, cooperative games are easy and they shouldn't even be made. Yep, correct. Yeah, yeah, we'll see how we've that goes. Never, we've never. They're lost. so boring. Like yeah. you always know what's I mean, going to happen. Easy. There's like, no there's, challenge to them. All you have to do is pay attention. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Okay, yeah. guys, I'm going to take care of these bears <laughs> with this flamethrower. <laughs> that was the most blunt cutoff. <laughs> Just I'm not I'm not entertaining your humor. Okay, guys. Oh wait, but then that'll make them mad at us. If I deal damage to this guy, uh, because you're gonna burn everything alive and you're yeah, I was gonna flame through everybody. But if I deal damage to this guy, they become angry with us when they're wait. Nice what guys. happened when I dealt damage to her? And didn't she? No, no, they were already angry. So it's only if they're neutral oh. or friendly they go up one. Because mm. you're like, why would you attack them when they're nice? Well, I would have to attack them because I would flame everything in front of me. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and for what does flame do? Uh, it's d pick a tile in range. Mm -hmm. Mid-range, so my tile or any other tile. Mm -hmm. I mean, I could do it on someone else's tile. I could yeah, do it on the not, Thief's it's tile. It's not worth it, though. It's, it's six damage to all monsters on that tile and three damage to all survivors on that tile. That's pretty so I was going to burn my own tile because my pain killers would... Yeah, you're good. Nullify would, it. Would be okay. But then these guys would go up. That's not great. Is it um, worth this? I mean, I might be able to placate them a little bit, though. Well, I've got some other things I can do. I don't think we're going to make it out alive. Oh, we got this. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. Let me rephrase. I'm not making it out of line. I'm at 10. <laughs> um, <laughs> this will be a very short video. <laughs> like an actual apocalypse probably would be. All right, I'm so going to move here uh, for one. I'm going to fortify for two. Mm -hmm. That's increase my hunger by one. Okay. And place barricade tiles and up to two revealed tiles in range. What are barricades here? Uh, we don't have any, so let's use the poison tokens. Okay, so between where? I want to barricade the van and the ice glyphs because they're six and an eight so if we roll those dice we will now just remove mm -hmm. that barricade, barricade instead monster won't spawn. before nice. monsters, we get monsters um oh that's right sixes <laughs> what do you have in front of you a wolf Arr yeah i mean all right what well, we both do a little puppy uh so i'm gonna play tackle next that's my third action right you're gonna tackle the wolf I'm gonna tackle your wolf. Do you know how badass that is? Yeah. <laughs> it stuns it, so we're gonna tap it, so it won't activate next well, time. Stun. A wolf never expects to be tackled <laughs> by a large lumber. Uh, more importantly, I move to the tile that that target occupies. Oh, cool. So I jump over there. Wait, but no, no, no. no. Your target is on me. So you tackle. Oh no, you you're that one. My wolf. Attack I'm attacking wolf. your attack wolf. Yeah. wolf. Yeah, I have to. It's long range, so yep. I can't attack the tile one. My bad. Sorry. So you, you, we are using miniatures that don't match our characters, so it's a little you uh, just rush. Sort of like you, a construction you, worker. Then, I, through then the I get to draw a card. Then I get to draw a card. Okay. And uh, suffer three damage, but the painkillers are reduced by three, right? Nice. So I don't suffer yep. that. All damage this turn. So now, if you did the flamethrower, you'd burn everything. Yeah. But then they get mad at us. It might be worth it, though. I don't think so. What I'm going to do is I'm going to prep for the future. Saw launcher takes up three, three of my. Four slots, three shots, deals 10 damage to a target. Oh my gosh, that's crazy. And it's just yeah. like a zzz, And increases my hunger by one. It's very heavy to carry. Oh, that's awesome. Whoa, okay. Uh, yeah, so we're <sighs> definitely experimenting with more extreme stuff with this with this, with this this set. You now, get you, five damage max, by the way, Do you reduce from... three from each yes. of them? For every, yes, every correct, source. from each location. So what we're going to do, so total five. the way <laughs> monsters activate, this is actually really important for this, and it's mm. something we actually like have it clear example of you the okay there or there's a whole <laughs> grape or something what was in there like a well we've got we've got Mary orange and lemon. yeah so here's here's how i made this just because they're they're gonna be curious it's it's high west it's high west bur uh, bourbon uh-huh uh shaken with a blood orange that has been mashed uh blood orange bitters uh and a little bit of simple syrup uh so you combine that then you pour the already cooled uh liquid into uh, a nice giant like square ice cube. Mm -hmm. You add in two uh, maraschino cherries, and as you drink it, you get the. So it was the maraschino the cherry that took you out, or the? Uh, no, no, it was, it was the, it was the, <laughs> the blood, blood orange. orange <laughs> the maraschino cherries, though, if you haven't eaten yours, which I know I haven't. you haven't, those are like. I did finish it though, so I mean it is the, very good. The, the advertisement is look. I mean mine is done. <laughs> so so you should eat those cherries because those are hands down okay. the I best do like the best quality cherries uh, you'll come across. And they absorb some of the alcohol. Yeah. So that's yep. Mm -hmm. nice. Yep. Either way, all right. So monster activation. Side note aside, mm -hmm. left to right. Mm. Four damage to me. One damage. Reduced by reduced by painkillers, so mm -hmm. it's only one. So I'll yep. go down to thirty-two. Now they're wary of us, so they're oh, not going to hunt me no. down. Then he discards. Oh thank gosh. So he's gone. He's he's he's. What are you doing? 
Okay, I'm done. You, 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 yep. you know, not... So that bears kill each other. Five damage to everybody in range of my tile. No, dude! Sorry. They kill, they kill her. Well... Mm. I forgot about that. What do you want from me? <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to play I wanted the game. To tackle. <laughs> I wanted to play the game. Wow, I'm like the sacrificial goat here. So we're going hostile. Uh, she's yeah, she's hostile now. She's uh, not she's dying. dead. Five damage. Oh yeah, yeah, she does have three. Great. Mm. Um, D increase my. Look three. at all those. Look, yeah, they're enraged. Which you'll notice has a little lock on it, so we can't parlay with them. They're too mad at us now. Oh my god. That's okay, guys. We know they're enemies now for the rest of the game. They're just like a normal monster. Whoa, 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 whoa. They will cool down eventually, but we've got a whole... Like, we can't negotiate? No, not anymore. They're too mad. Oh my god. Their child died. We let their child die. I hear you. It wasn't... Who let their child die? I need five... Who... I did. You, I did. Both I did. of you. Both um, of you did. I did none of this. I need five damage. Uh, for the bear? What if I just throw this things bear? at them trying to bargain? Will that work? They're just gonna throw it back at I'm them. You're gonna take five guys. damage from this bear as well? Oh, I died. Alright, so maybe we should rewind. I really f***ed up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I just was a swear. Because I have ten. <laughs> I mean, it's your business. Now you are. Unless you want me to bleep that. Should I bleep that? I mean, bleeping is funny. Like, that was hilarious in Arrested Development. Okay. We're leaving a quack in and we're gonna All rewind right. a little bit. The designer of the game is horrible in his own game? You know, I think this <laughs> is uh, hilarious. Let's rewind that tackle. <laughs> okay, so what so here's optimal love, decision I are we love making this? You died before your second turn. I mean, you pushed this bear on me. I did. I did I'm so that. sad. I did do that. Oh, okay. okay. Oh my gosh. All right. So two actions so far. Correct. And I put the salt launcher back. And your on tackle top. is in your hand too. Yes. Mmm. So you're back up to the top of the round. Mm -hmm. uh, no, not top of the round. I did take the two actions. I'll leave that well, in. Shouldn't, that they was be, a, shouldn't they be a little bit higher then? They should be neutral. Yes. So so we just got a glimpse of a parallel universe right yeah, now. Yeah, that is true. Yeah, we got. That is like, true. I don't want to be part of that universe. Though. I think that's it's the, the bourbon. funniest thing. It is the bourbon. <laughs> Good uh, job, Jesse. I mean, uh, so I'm gonna draw a card because I know it's a saw launcher, and then I'll equip that saw launcher as my last two actions. <laughs> Is that it? <gasps> I mean, you're still gonna take a ton of damage. I mean, I'm, but I'm really good. No, uh, what way should you move somewhere? Because you're gonna take ten damage. You're gonna be at four health. And all right, fine. I'll go off on my own. You want me to go off my own? <laughs> yeah, get away, get out of here. Oh I will no! Draw the salt launcher. You just drew a monster. Sweet, let's go. <laughs> Mike's you, never gonna come get out back. of here, you. I do have the painkillers, man. I'm like, I'm amped He's up. Not. I'm yeah. amped up. Oh, Whatever you gave me. Good, yeah. Maybe it's not the bourbon. Maybe it's it the pain. It's the pain. It could be the painkillers. It's the pain. Don't ask me where I got them from. They just, they just help. They may be oxys. <laughs> He's never um, gonna come back. He's so close to us, and yet never gonna visit. All right, um, I'm just gonna take all this. So okay. this is this one is damage. Four down to one. I should rewind, right? Did I? I didn't take anything else, right? I should be like at 35. Yeah, you mm -hmm. haven't taken any damage yet. Well, I just took that one. 35. Well, one. Okay, now bear. Uh, five three. to these two. I need two yep. fives. And you get three damage yourself. Three damage from that, right? Two damage You know, yourself. I'm going to be honest. Two I, damage? I, I kind two of, damage. I kind of like the idea of you never killing those two bears. And they don't, they don't hurt you. They just <laughs> kill everything. Well, I need more painkillers. That's only until my next turn, man. Ah, uh, that's true. <laughs> this bear is going to deal. I need another five. I'll do here. I'll do this five and this five. Yeah. And that's so this two guy for has me. this ten now. Yep. There we go. Uh, this guy, no, this guy only has five. This guy deals yeah, yeah. five to everybody? Five, five, yeah. and this, and this one guy has deals ten. Five. This one has this, ten. This guy has ten. But that's okay, because he's going to deal one to me, and then he's going to go away. Cool. Mm. So we don't want to So let me, let me ask you this. When you were creating this game, is this the type of interactions you were hoping would come about? Well, that eight at the beginning was, uh, you know, it was rough. <laughs> I mean, is, is, this, is this what you were looking for? Yes, I think it's really I mean, listen, I think it's fun. I wish I didn't mess up. I wish I was more cognitive of the poor little child almost oh, being no. dead. That was hilarious. Oh, just a child, not the, not your comrade. Also, if you do recall, I did think, I did want to tackle this wolf. So I was <laughs> thinking the right thing. You you did, you did, you did. Um, 
<laughs> so yeah, that's my turn. My hunger goes up again. So I'm up to three. Wait, Wait so should your first turn, instead of moving, just would have been tackle, or had, did you not no, have the tackle in hand? Or rewinding. I did have the tackle in hand, but then I would have had to like move from there. We'll mm. figure it out. We'll figure mm. it out. Either way, it's your turn. I drew the tackle on the beginning of my turn. I do, mm. I do appreciate the fact that he specifically came here to make sure we didn't mess up. <laughs> yeah. he said, well, he hasn't messed up. He said nothing in the easy. I, did, I didn't play break optimal. a rule. Yeah, exactly. play he just played not, uh, not optimally. That's all, right. all. My turn. I'm rolling an 11. Uh, Please nothing. no. No, we're good. Thank you. That was close to 12, though. That chair's good, isn't it? Yeah, it's good. Really That's good. good chair. <laughs> all right. Well, we do take up. Yeah, right. we take up one That's dot. That's important. All right, Jesse, you got a bunch of cars in hand, man. Let's start. Start. No more pushing uh, people on me, <laughs> and especially not me. That's though. my I skill. Take. That's what I yeah. do. No, you can't. You can't. I need some more uh, meds. Pain meds now. Pain oh, meds I are almost have worn off. They've almost worn off until next okay. turn. Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna start by getting my night vision down on the board. Mm, it's really good. I'm gonna go ahead and activate. I'm gonna draw two cards. And then I'm going to pause the video and read a bit. Uh, here's what I have. So I've got three backstabs in my hand. These are going to be valuable when I hit them in the discard pile because they're going to start sequencing each other. I think they're valuable now because you could backstab this guy just to pause him, which means a whole nother round before you Discard fight a card, deal two damage to a target for every backstab in your hand, including this card, and stun it. Stun's the keyword that I hadn't read. Interesting. Uh, use that on my wolf? You're really good at stunning, so you're really good at pausing like the Very bears cool. from activating and scratching everybody. Uh, short range is going to be uh, deal X damage or assassinate. That's amazing. Do X damage to a target where X is the number of instant action cards in your discard pile. Whoa. But I don't have a discard pile. You don't. Yet. Correct. But you want to put as many lightning bolts in your discard pile as possible. I that's was how you're gonna. On to that. That's how you're gonna get your one shot kills. Yep. Mm. I've got double assassinate in my hand mm -hmm. right now, which Ooh. I'm just gonna keep for now. Mm -hmm. Just escalate it. And then I've got a silence pistol. I already have my stub nose out. I don't think I need to play this immediately. Not immediately. No. It's a good card, but it's yeah. About you can equal. save it. It's about equal to stub nose. Um, so here's let me thing. give you something we didn't cover in our little playthrough. Okay. One of the free actions you have every turn. One of the free actions you can take. So one of the free actions you can take is like we have fuel, and we bring it back to the van. It's a free action to get put that fuel in the van and fuel it up. Okay. okay. We talked about trading scavenge cards on the we same did. tile as yep. a free action. One of the other free actions, which is particularly important for the thief, is you can discard two of your survivor cards to the discard pile to draw one card. Mm. So, so you I can do that to put two. I can put. Backstab yes, in. Two you backstabs put two backstabs in. in. Did you have three backstabs? I got three in my yeah, hand. Yeah, so three. you could do two backstabs to draw a third backstab and definitely kill that. Yeah, but I could also. Or you do a backstab also, and something I could else. I also stun it, and it doesn't. It doesn't matter. Well, yeah. Also, you. I need you to stun my wolf. Are you about to die? Yes, I'm at ten. Oh, yeah. You're not that close to dying. Uh, Wait, why did you, you take that much? Oh, just from the first round, the fourteen. Yeah. <laughs> so here's what I'm thinking. I'm gonna move over here. Okay. Uh, and I'm what? Gonna, well, I mean, you we can want to go, scavenge stuff. Yeah, you can go, go do this thing. Yeah, that's true. But who's going to save me? You. How? With your knife. Not sure. Frying pan. So, I'm going to that's my third action to move over here. Mm. And I think I'm going to start scavenging. Okay? I like what I have in my hand, sure. but I don't know that I need to use yeah. it. I think you should stun one of his bears. Would you like me to stun a bear? Uh, that bear will also die. Depending on who you act. Yeah, but like, they would be close enough. I mean, it's going to take me a while to deal with these bears. I could... But they're sort of pets. Well, here's what I could do. Like, you can't... We know I drew the saw launcher because sort of. the rule one. We do. Yes. I could equip saw launcher, fire it twice, 10 damage if they're both dead. That increases my hunger twice. I'm really hungry. I need <sighs> Sheffy to cook me something. Oh, Sheffy not going to Or I need you to get food and me. give it to me. Sheffy not leaving. Not I'm leaving. not opposed to... There, so we have three He's pathways forward. You murder bears, I stun bears, chef cook food, I give food. Or you give food, yeah. There's a couple options. I think the odds for your survival are I think y'all are, are being very ambitious with me surviving this if round. If I play a backstab and I stun... Oh, a cause bear. Because that, that might... Because it us some a time. Bear. Yeah. But you could kill one of them, you could dig for food. Yeah. I just yeah. can't guarantee give me that I'm going to find food for two you. damage. Because the odds are I could dig for food and not get something that helps mm -hmm. you. So. Yep, that's very true. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, and now, when this bear hits that bear, yes, that bear's dead. That's right. Cool. Very good. Cool. Okay. Uh, that is four actions. Okay, let's turns. pass these dice. Increase your hunger. Uh, you didn't. Your... You didn't pause your own. Wolf. Oh yeah, you gotta take your own wolf damage. Uh, yes. So it's I'm gonna be damage. taking. Wait, why don't you stun it? Because I stunned his. No, then don't move here and stun it. Leave me no, alone. No, no, no. I like. I like this. You spread it out. Spread the damage out. Which health do you have? Not a lot. Nine. I'm losing five. Nine. I was. It took me a while to do that math. Yeah. Wow, that those old fashions were real heavy, <laughs> huh? 
You're yeah. both kind of like... No, I'm not. I'm just bad at math. <laughs> I'm real good at calculus, never been good at addition. <laughs> oh, three. three. So we need a monster token on three. That's okay, we don't need to go to the tundra. They, yeah. Those don't move or follow us, right? Uh, not without the day night. The yeah. day night would make them move, but without that, we're okay. They'll stay there. Cool, okay. I definitely feel the threat. Um, I am drawing a card. I need to take this up or I already did? No. Oh. I didn't. Uh, you kicked it up I was me. six, you were seven, he's eight. He's eight. I'm playing down a knife card and Ooh. I'm going and taking this thing And out. we've already clarified in the finished production version, this is a spinning yeah. dial. And you'll see that picture, yeah. I mean, yeah. I can send it to you guys. So, Wolf is dead. Double stab? Double stab. Yep. And you Double were saying we needed to take care of it. Okay. I'm going to... I'm going to take four health, four I have, damage, I have less, six health. I have less health than you. I have six health at the end Maybe of Maybe you should cook yourself a meal. He needs, we he need to cure that frost nip. How do you cure frost nip? Well, uh, you cover up your boobs. We need to find an antidote by scavenging, or you actually have cards built in your deck that will heal it. So you may be able to do it yourself. Hmm. You have like an herbs and spices card, where you like you pick herbs that naturally occur in the environment and they can cure you. I don't, I don't think I should reveal this. You know what this game does? This makes me want to play the RPG. <laughs> I don't, I don't think I should reveal this. Of course you should. No. I mean, we have to go there, yeah. so. It's there's no smoke option. signal. But the question is, there are, are you good. the best person to go there? Well, we're, You're both, the closest. we're, we're both not going there. So <laughs> yes, he's the best person to go there. I'm never playing this game with either of you again. Back in action. That's not so bad. That was your fourth action, right? Yes. Okay. But that's not my worry. And my worry is the campaign element that just got revealed. Oh, oh no, that's I have to last actually action. interact. He can't, he can't do it. Can't yeah, do he's going to interact. But he is going to draw another monster. <laughs> yes. There you go. That's not so bad. Oh, it's not so bad. I mean, it's a little bad. Draw immune to damage until the start of the next. Okay. End of your turn, let's activate your monsters. Two damage from the kid, but then the kid's discarded. I have three health left. I mean, you should have parlayed with these people. You could, they could have been your friends. <laughs> oh no. Oh wait, 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 wait. I could have done that, couldn't I? I could have given them something. Are we gonna rewind a second time? We can if you want. <laughs> wouldn't be too big of a rewind. I would just not move there and yeah. I would give them my knife. And what would happen if I give them my knife? They're our trade partners and they don't activate. And they wouldn't activate. Okay, yep. so let's do that. Okay. I'm I'm going to give them my knife. I know you guys are learning, so I'm trying to be a... Yep, yeah, I mean, I'm going to give them my knife. No, 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 no. We know how to play this game. We're just bad. I love that we've rewound twice in the, what? We've each had one, two turns? Yeah. In the, I've had one turn. In the in the official gameplay with the designer. Wee! Yeah. Yeah. I'm at eight now. Woo, these are my friends. To be to be fair, if I was going to watch a gameplay video, this would be entertaining. Yeah. I mean the good news is it's not gonna be overly long. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. He's not joking. <laughs> He's not actually. Well one joking. of the worst things that could happen in like, you know, some of the is to roll an eight at the very No, beginning. no, there's like this level. <laughs> There's this level in Maximum Apocalypse you can get where like you're doing really bad, but you're still digging yourself out enough, but you're not like moving the game forward. Oh, we're doing the latter. Which adds like a lot of time. Like I'd rather like we're winning quickly. Like I don't like we're either can, winning quickly. It can hit this like balance beam point. You know what I mean? Like I where it. it's like you're not moving towards the objective, but you're like surviving. You know which one are we doing? You're not dying fast you, enough. You know what I vote? I vote immediately after this gameplay, we do one long line <laughs> and just go hit for every it. tile and just go for it. Okay, my turn. Let's see how I can roll. I put those barricades up, guys. Come on. Three. Boom. Another one in Tundra. Tundra's completely splitting us up. We're going separate paths. Yeah, and I'm never going to be able to match up with you guys again. Because we built it like idiots. I was expecting the van was going to go there. Jan got cocky after the after the, <laughs> after the the little playthrough demo we gave. He does that. I thought we were going to put the van there. Mm. I, left, I, I was like, oh, this is a perfect location for the van. And the van didn't go there, so. Oh, no this way. is good. This yeah. is good, though, guys. I'm going to equip this nail gun. I need two more ammo. Okay. Ooh. That's one. Okay, okay. This is great at stunning. Okay. Uh, so I'm going to do two, three. So you could stun your own bear. Yeah, I'm stunning this bear. Uh, three damage. And three damage here in stunning. Oh, beautiful. Okay, and... I'll just put these off to the side. I don't have those nails anymore. Mm. Mm, okay. Uh, let's scavenge. Uh, I'm getting hungry, so I'm gonna scavenge green. Okay. Fuel. Immediately equip as a free action or discard. So I have one of our three fuel that we need. Oh my god. Maybe I should go back to the van now, I don't know. <laughs> um, yeah, you just that's three. 
Now, yeah. should I move? I hate thousand. moving at the end of the turn because it could be like really bad. It could be terrible. It could be one of those. I like, think it's just scavenge monster. again. You uh, cannot scavenge. You can only scavenge a singular tile once per turn. So I can uh, move to another tile that has scavenge, 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 but I can't double scavenge the same tile. I've already searched. Let it. me do I spend my turn right, searching. Do something that helps you or equips you. Like let me move at the start of the turn and just start. Do we? Should we bring more. the? Should we bring the flamethrower out? Do that. That'll fully yeah. equip me. Get yeah. Get that. Now on I the need board. the fuel tokens. Now read what the flame flamethrower does. Pick a tile in range, deal six damage to all monsters on that tile, and three damage to all survivors yeah. on that tile. Oh my god. Yeah, that's So cool. it's Scorched Earth. So you, you could, like, destroy the Tundra, potentially, though. Well, that's monster tokens. Monster cards uh, and monster tokens are different. Count. Mm. So either There way, are cards that say remove a monster token. You're burning someone alive either way. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, if if you moved off of me, I could do it to myself. With so I can cause you wolf, do it to yourself. Yeah. I still have painkillers, by the way, yeah. so... <sighs> on um, me? Yeah, that's it for me. My hunger needs to go up. I'm at four, so I think I'm way ahead of everybody else. Being yeah. the big oh, no. Guy. Also, I didn't think to take Seven. my thing up. Okay, oh, so... No, I've only at, I'm, yes, I'm at three. Yeah. Uh, also, you have to untap your guys, right? Because it's the end of your turn? Yeah, yeah, he'd untap his bears. I'd untap, yeah, I'd untap my bears. Mm -hmm. Seven's going to fast forward our time. Yeah, we're going to go forward four... So we're going to hit exposure. No! So who's outside? I am. Oh, nice. Uh, frostbite. You lose one storage. That's not so bad. <laughs> and I still have frost snip. <laughs> but I mean, of all the ones you could have gotten. Yeah, it's the, it's the least worst. Because you don't have a bunch of stuff. You're right just now. losing some fingers. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. they're so frozen, you don't even feel the pain. Uh, there is a bright side to everything. There is right a bright now. side to life. Uh, and you drew a card, right? On the bright side of life. Did you draw a card, I Jesse? Didn't, no, I didn't draw a card. <laughs> uh, pickpocket, draw a scavenge card for every monster attached to you. And Not when it says that... draw a scavenge card, you can pick any color. It's literally okay. a scavenge card. So let's do this. Mm -hmm. Do you need me to help you with the bears? Uh, I mean, I can always nail them again, right? Stun yeah, them. You could. I feel I'm I'm pretty. I'm I'm building my engine. I'm. I mean, I'm the tanky guy. I've got 30 health. And I'm I'm dying slowly. If anything, you guys. Yeah. So I'm gonna. Be, I'm gonna start with a scavenger. I'm getting hungry. I'm gonna all. start with a scavenger. I'm actually okay on that though too. And I'm gonna look for hunger is gonna be green, right? Is that correct? That's food. Yeah. It's food. most likely to be food. Dig me some food. Okay. Let's do scavenger action for food. Ammunition. Uh, that's not food. You still uh, get it. Fully know, reload a I weapon. Do. And I cannot scavenge again unless I have a card, correct? Yes. So you could play that card that said pickpocket and draw another scavenge card, any that you'd like. I sort of want more monsters attached to me, though. Yeah, you could wait. Uh, you, don't want, you don't want that. Let actually. me do a... Someone save me. Also, if you really wanted monsters, you can move in there. You're a good... No, he actually probably would be able to evade them. His health, His stealth is really high. Um, you could move forward and just you know you could look at more tiles. What happens if I he think I'm gonna get them? there? Do the tokens so, stay? Yes. Pickpocket's gonna go down. Mm -hmm. Draw me another green. Another green. Food. Okay. Reduce hunger by free four. action to hand this to you. Free action to hand it to me. Yes. Okay. Then I'm gonna use my third action to move off. We're moving in. I still have one action. Free scavenge here. Yeah. You so draw a green flashlight. 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 Uh, passive, whenever you take a scavenge action, draw two cards, keep one, and put the other in the bottom of the deck. I'm going to use my fourth action the flashlight. to equip that down into my board. Yeah, that's that's a, really, that's really that good. really will help us find what we need. Okay. Yeah, that's awesome. And this is no longer... Stunned. Stunned. Mm -hmm. uh, and I move my hunger up to... Do three. they protect me? Not yet. They're willing to trade with you. <sighs> if we bring them all the way, they will yes. defend us. But you don't so, have any other enemies... So wait, wait, wait. That's okay, they're not attacking him. Correct. No, 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 they're not. Okay, because I was gonna say I could not do the flashlight. No, no, I he's could, fine. I could he's get. Good I could get night vision gone. The only person who has like active enemies in front of him are me and you right now. All right, we're fine. Okay. And I think I can probably come in and clean him up. Okay. Okay. So drawing card, dice, please. Oh, yeah, we need to do that. <clears throat> Twelve. That's gotta be. I don't think fine. There's only no, like we're fine. Yeah. Interesting. <sighs> Oh no! I gave my knife away, guys. No, I hear you. I need you to. We need to finish that. Because we're we're going. In Remember, that's losing action because we were wound. <laughs> All right, that's one, two, three. Complete it. Here, I'll read. I'll read the. Uh... So see how I die because I'm gonna I'm gonna die. It's gonna happen. Gonna Spend die. an action to search the monster deck. Mm-hmm. Where's our, um, for a child? 
Another child? Yeah. The child is injured and frightened, but you convince them we're here to help. The child was attacked by a bear and lit this fire to scare it away and signal for help. The child asks you to help them back to their home. It's in a cave near here. Surely there are other people out looking for the child. Maybe we will be rewarded for this good deed. Okay. Hmm. So we need to find an ice caverns tile, and then when we find an ice caverns tile, we'll put an objective token on it, and that will basically finish us up. How many Other ice way. caverns are there? There are two. How hurt are they? They're zero hurt. Oh, okay. They're just like so damaged. Got mm-hmm. it. So the ice caverns could be anywhere in this weird divided terrain yeah. that Chan mm-hmm. is It there. could be right here next to our van yes. that we walked by. That but there it's two. probably this one. No, you probably are going one. to be the best at potentially scouting things ahead with like cards. You may have some cards that like were oh, just straight no. up reveal cards. I'm so dead. I, I, I don't have any more actions, do I? No, you don't. No, wait. Mm, you have one no, more no, no. action. That was three total. One, two, action to recover. You've got four. You can move off. No, but I lost one action when I... Again, yeah. you, you've spent one, three. Two. You have one more left. Oh, okay. Use the, and I would the, leave because yeah. you're going to get a monster when you move. Yep. <sighs> we have to. Well, 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 what I could do, I could... It could be a good tile. No. The tiles are about 50-50, oh, yeah. so. I could give away my frying pan. No. Oof. Well. To get them friendly. But then if you draw a bear, it doesn't matter. The bear doesn't care you gave him a frying pan. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> it would only matter if you drew another person. But they would activate and they would attack the bear. If they're not friends yet, they're only trading partners. But if he gave them a frying pan... Oh, yeah, they would. Yeah. That's true. That's what I meant. That's not a bad strategy. I'm not opposed to that. Because, yeah, I, I Ooh, would But this could anything. be amazing. We don't know. It's your choice. And they're not going to kill it's up the up to you. That's what's great about this game. So even though quarterbacking is like 100% a problem in cooperative mm-hmm. games, imperfect information means like it both of those choices are valid, yeah, right? Yeah, it's a reasonable choice. Like making them friendly and having them attack a potential bear, 100% valid. I don't think they would kill the bear. No, they're not, not that not, strong. Not close. Um, it would kill the child, which would t- make them incredibly hostile to oh, us okay. afterwards. Okay, okay. <laughs> <gasps> Guys, I did it! You found a farm. What'd you get? Reload a weapon with three bullets. Great. Nice. I have so many weapons Yeah, you're not with bullets. picking weapons. You can give that to us, though, when you yeah. get close again. Oh, sure, when that ever happens. Mm-hmm. Never. <laughs> All right. My turn, right? Yes, sir. Here we go. Four. Ooh, no, no, we're safe. Okay. Nope. Uh, not that. I'm going to take this up. And then I'm going to draw this card. Mm. Um... All right, first action, I'm going to use my Morning Joe card, <laughs> which is uh, reduce your hunger by two and gain an action. So it's basically Ooh, a free okay. play. It takes me down to two. And he still has your food card. I gave you the food for card. Dire, yeah, for dire, for dire. No, I'm saying yeah. I gave you the yeah. reduce by four, so you're actually in a good position yeah, right now. Um, I could kill that, right? Mm-hmm. You're welcome to. If you oh, want. your bears. I mean, the bears we definitely need to kill. Or at least stun. I'm definitely going to... I mean, I can definitely stun my own wolf Oh, yeah, that's I true. You've got those backstabs left. And actually, my backstab... I'm going to let. Let. I'm gonna for sure scavenge while I'm here, right? Yeah, what do you, you think, might as blue, well. Of course. Or should we keep going with green? I think you dig blue. You've got food in your hand. You don't need more Yeah, let's do moment. blue. Let's see what blue has. Oh. What'd you pull? Ambush. Oh, no. That's not good. Draw a monster card. Well, do card. green. What did you just draw? Who is that? Uh, an elgar. Uh, when you draw them, they increase tribe hostility. Oh, by is this one. the one with the quackalope horns? Yeah, this is the quackalope yeah, character. Great. <laughs> <laughs> he said it. That's official. Did you hear what he just said, though? Uh, he's dying. No, no, no. no. They're hostile. Well, Who they increase our hostility by one. They just went back up to wary with us. But look, here's what I'll do. That's only my first action because the morning Joe, the caffeine, got me amped up. I got my action back. Mm-hmm. So I've got three actions left. Mm-hmm. For my second action, I'm going to parlay, and let's give him this flamethrower. Flame That's a big gift. <laughs> yeah, but like with all the damage it was doing to ourselves and everything. You never used it. I know, but I'm not using it now the with potential him. potential damage in the parallel universe, Jesse. Not damage. Yeah, I'm not using it now. <laughs> all right. Uh, now look, is this crazy? Should I parlay with them again and make them our allies and give them the food? Well, Jesse won't they get attacked by the bear and get angry again? He activates... Oh, yeah, technically... They're this, yes. Bear, bear. <laughs> bear, bear, elder. No, it's only if you attack them voluntarily. They're not going to be mad if a bear attacks them. Mm. But he's going to take 10 damage. But if they he's died 25. because a bear attacked them, they'd get pissed at us. No, but yeah, but... No, no, no. If she died because yes, a bear attacked Yes, if the them. child dies. They don't... When they want their children yeah, protected, we fair. need to protect their children. It's a reasonable request. <laughs> um, all right, I'll hold on to the food. You're He'd right. survive. He'd survive. He's not doing anything, so... 
but he would attack back. Would he kill the bears if he attacked back? No. So he would kill one. one he would kill one. That's only. I mean, listen. I can just straight up take the bears, nail yeah. gun their feet, their claws yeah. to the. Yeah. Brain. Just kill, you'd be at five. Uh, just kill hunger the at the end. Just of kill this. the bears. All right. And make Let's do this, and we'll do three and three. I don't know if I killed them. Three and three. What? Is, why three and three? Because that's what the nail. Oh, gun does. the nail gun yeah. is just and he's, God. And he's stunning them. I'm stunning them is the important part, right? So you're not using the super gun. No, I gave that away. Uh oh. No, not the saw launcher. Ah, uh, that's can't, what I thought. Okay. I can't hold the saw launcher. Saw launcher takes three of my storage slots. Oh, I can wow. hold four things. Okay. Okay, so they're not yet defending us. Correct. My hunger goes up. These both untap, but they don't attack me. Uh, mm -hmm. He's a trade partner again. So he was... He didn't like the look of us, but then I gave him my stuff. I gave him a flamethrower, and he's like, oh, he's got not so bad. <laughs> He hasn't I can used, trust a, he hasn't for used a flamethrower yeah. yet. He doesn't even know what it does. And then it's you, right? I'm, I'm still messed up on this order. I want to go clockwise for sure. We got to find that. Three. Jesse. We love this spot. Three. That's like a... The divide we, You know the good news, guys? We do not have to go back through that tundra. We can walk around it. We could. Okay. We have to now. Um, and we take that... Oh, that needs to be ticked up Sorry, to four. Yeah. Drop me a scavenge two green cards, please. You're doing two scavenge? You can't no. do double flashlight. Oh, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. oh. I get to put one on the bottom of the deck. So I can either take fuel or food, reduce hunger by two, fuel. or equip immediately as a free action. We need how much fuel? One each. I'm taking three total. I mean one of us can carry all three of it or something. I mean I'm taking okay. I'm taking taking one of those. And this goes on the bottom of this deck, right? Mm-hmm. Alright. I think I keep moving forward. I mean, we need to find those ice caverns we to get that to. kid back, right? Yeah, it's, it's so And then I have to make it to those ice caverns? Mm -hmm. If we had the driver, it would be helpful, because you could... Oh, no. I mean, you built this, right? Like, this would have been nicer for us. For yeah, you. but it wasn't there. I thought the van wasn't going to go so, there! So I'm imagining this is just like a giant rift in the ice. I like to think of it as like a water. Like, yeah, it could oh. be a rift in an ice, or like lakes, like a frozen or like lake. a river. Yeah. yeah. Mm. Either way, I feel really bad if the ice caverns Like a ravine? Here. Well, you could find that. No, I'm saying if the ice What if it's here? here? Are you guys going to think of like much more likely? What if it's one of these three? But he, and he has to make it there? Him personally? I believe so. Yeah, because I have the kid. Uh, you clear the... So here's... There's two different ways to clear this objective, okay? Kill the kid or... Yeah. Return the Nordic child or kill five Norris enemies. Oh, my God. Well, that's just put an interesting spin on our relationship <laughs> we are not so we can just out. straight up turn on them and take them out i mean the and only way i do that what's interesting about the campaign is the way where they end with you is where they pick up next game next oh, mission okay oh. so obviously it's much easier just straight up kill five of them <laughs> uh, negotiating but that'll hurt you okay Giving them this, okay. Giving we'll them just put that out. as a, that'll be our scavenge. They're friendly with us. They're allied, yes. Mm -hmm. I've got four total slots to hold mm -hmm. things. Yep. I think you I'm... cannot do that. Why? Because they're not in front of you. you who are you talking to? Oh, I to? have to be friends with them? No, there has to be someone within range. Yes, yeah, someone to trade with. I hear you. I hear what you're I saying. I have a merry band of heroes right now. I so may have broken that rule earlier. I don't them, remember. Knocked them down. I don't think you did because you've had them in front yeah, of Yeah, I have them. I've never, I haven't had any. Snub nose to the wolf. Okay. Okay, so wolf, bye-bye. It's bye. definitely dead. But I see if I spawn one. No, I don't. Okay. That's my second action. Third action. Forward? Mm-hmm. Swear. Come on. That's Tundra. Like if I move again, I'm going to get frozen. Okay. I'm not going to move again. Uh, I think I'm just going to go ahead and... No, I don't have you any You can always room. draw a card. Draw two cards. Oh, yeah. yeah. That's even better. End turn. Jan, yours. Hunger goes up. You're at four hunger. There you go. Thank you. Ooh, got it. Binoculars. Mm -hmm. Reveal a tile. Still. Reveal a tile in range without triggering an effect. Draw a uh, card. And long range is... Uh, not the tile you're on, up to two spaces away. That's great. That's so you great. could you could literally binocular, there. binocular, binocular. Like. I think I mean I think I'm gonna do that. Jesse, who did you piss off at the farm? <laughs> no, what did you do? I didn't do anything. I think of it more as threat increasing. Like there's you know they they heard you walking through or something. You drew some attention. Knowing Jesse, I think he probably yeah. said something. Why did this Why did this go up? Uh, didn't. Oh yeah, I thought. Sorry, okay. you yep. didn't trade with them. I, no, I did yeah. not. 
Uh, ticks up. Mm-hmm. We're what now? Five? Yeah. Mm-hmm. They're going to cool down on us anyway soon. They're going to go back to untrusting. It's a six or seven. Six. Well, they're going to go back to what? They, they always down. move back to like wary, the middle. They try to go towards the they middle. They always cool <sighs> towards the middle. They always reset no matter. It's not just At one six. space. It's one space. Yeah, they actually. So move. if I trade with them, they would still stay yes. friendly. Yes, that's right. I think that might need to happen to everybody. No, no limit on on, on cards in hand. There's right? ten, but you're fine. Mm-hmm. So I'm playing my knife mm-hmm. and then giving my knife mm. to them. Okay, they're allies. You hear that sound he made? Yeah, I know. <laughs> I mm. know. What's unfortunate is he these guys would be shooting people for him, and they're not. Well, great. I stay here and hey, hey, look at that monster turn. Well, you have one more action, me. couldn't you? Mm-mm. Oh no, that was a free action, right? What? What I just did was a free action. That no, I gave you, him. All you did was you gave them one. Yep. You moved. You lost an action. Mm-hmm. So you have one more left. So you I played. On. I played the knife also. Oh yeah. yeah. Mm. Then yeah, you're done. Oh, well, here we go. That's not so bad. Oh, there, there we go. So see, it all worked out. They're gonna kill this uh, elk. Mm-hmm. So deals two, deals three, deals two. Elk is dead. Destroy. Yep. Draw a food card at random from the scavenge we discard pile. We only have an ambush. We haven't oh, eaten any food yet. Darn it. I'm at four. I'm, I'm hungry. <laughs> the chef is hungry. Oh, I went to four as well. All right, we're gonna hit six. This is gonna cool down towards the middle. So they're just they're just trade partners now. I need to draw, roll these. Seven. Mm mm. Oh no, four four up. Ten. We would have hit we would have hit day, but that's okay right now. I need to draw a card. Oh, you don't have a monster in front of you anymore, yeah. Huh? Mm, I killed it. I know, I could have tackled it and jumped like sort of (laughs) warped to your space, which I like doing. Oh, interesting. I'm gonna play this morning Joe, because why wouldn't I? It reduces hunger by two and it's free, free action. Yep. Um, I feel like since you went that way, I should go to the east. So I'm go gonna start, down here? Yeah, let's go right. Boom. Cabins. Is that it? That's it. That's where you need to get. Okay. Reveal draw a monster. There's probably people there. Uh-oh. They're mad at us. There's also an enter f- uh, ability, so does that also trigger now? Yeah, spawn monsters again. Yes, thank you. I was doing the reveal. I haven't gotten there yet. Spawn no. monsters again. <laughs> Eight... This is barricade. The barricade's destroyed. But Good. Otherwise, Good that okay. you played that down. Okay. <laughs> um, this is a lot. <laughs> <laughs> well, remember, they're not attacking you. Yeah, they are. The elves. When you draw them, they increase hostility by one. No. They're the suspicious guys. They're like the suspicious, suspicious warrior ones. And they're attacking oh. you right now. Do you have any more actions? Well, left? they would leave though. Yeah, I've got. That's my first action. I've got three actions oh, left. Oh, so negotiate with them. I don't want to. You'll get them neutral. Fire, fire your nail gun and trade. then trade. Okay, okay, I like that. Let's fire the nail gun. Let's kill this one. Okay. Right. Okay. This is ten. That'll kill it. Oh my lord. Or should I spears. stun the other one? Uh, no. Kill, kill the one you. Can. I'll kill the it's one. It's the same. Yeah, we've had this bear forever. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. This bear will hurt these guys. <laughs> yes, he will. And um, then all right, trade now I'll nail trade. Gun. I'll parlay with them. Okay. There we go. They're trade. They're not going to attack me. Um, this change, by the way, is working excellently. <laughs> it's way better. Uh, they're they're really keen on that fuel tank, but they're not getting it. Now, I just want to point out, we do have five... I mean, what would they rather have? A nail gun? They're like, what is this thing? We, we do have five of these characters in front of us. We could go ahead and murder them all. Jesse, yeah. stop. Shut your mouth. <laughs> I am making it. Saw Hunter just go I am move. making it. Just you do have it still in your hand. <laughs> <laughs> I am making it. I'm going to make just it go nuts. Okay, I hear you. I do have um, to scavenge and get some food, though, before I move forward. I need to up my hunger, hunger ASAP. You too, by the way. I mean, if you came to me, I can give you food, and you have to come to me anyway. You should definitely be making your way back to us, mm-hmm. other than finding I fuel. I we need one more fuel. Yeah. What, well, uh, what else? What else? Do you have any more actions left? Yeah, I've only done two. Okay. But I moved, and I... Tri- no, I've got one left. So I shot the nail gun, and then I yeah. gave it from the nail gun. I mean, I can take this damage. I've got 30 health left. That's not... We don't have to worry about that. I mean, it's three times the amount both of us have. Yeah. Um, I'm tempted to move. I swear if you... Where are you thinking of going? You've got I was thinking about going south to look for another... Like, make my way back. I but, need but, like, this we can We can reveal. totally find gas here okay. in the suburbs. Do you want me to go there? 
set it up for next turn. I'm just saying, like that. I should not we, be going far. Is we my know point. we can find gas in the suburbs. I need this tile revealed so that I know it's safe and I can connect. I could also fortify, and put more tiles on. Fortify would be good. But I could fortify like here. I think mm. it's better if I move and fortify next turn and get like here. Yeah, I agree. All right, I'll move. I'll just move then. Okay. That's my final action. Let's activate. These guys are going to take five each. I've got them. I've got a five. Here's another. I got it. Are you, you, oh, it's right here. Okay. Just in case. Yep. You go on smaller change. Um, oh. They're not allied, so they don't do anything. I take five. 25. I'm surprised I'm still at eight. Honestly, I did not Yeah, think you get respites in this game. Like, it's definitely like an ebb and flow where the intensity... Two? That's Jesse. not terrible. We're not going to the bandit camp again. I needed to oh, go there. Right. Jesse. Wolf. Oh. Wait, why? You're on a two. Uh, and please go ahead and push that up by one. Mm -hmm. Okay. On my turn. We're close, guys. Yep, yep, yep. We're going to yep. do it. We're doing all right. We I'm mean, gonna, it's going to be close, but we're, we should be able to do it. I'm going to go mm. ahead and bump night vision. For, I, I still can't negotiate with him. I'm moving. Like you can move to me. I'm moving here. Okay, you've got to do a stealth. No, no, no. He does oh, a stealth check. Right. What if I just want it? You could take it if you wanted it. That is a complete option. If you want to try to sneak past them, you can. Because if I get it, but I could go to you and I can negotiate on your location. Yes. I might as well take it. Yeah, I think you want to okay. reduce the draw. That's horrible. Yeah, you definitely got the monster. Well, I didn't, know, I didn't know the math. What do I need to roll? Under a nine. Oh, okay. Let me do no, that. No, 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 no. You go got the monster. There we go, right? That's... Okay, you, give me the monster. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. That's... There you go. You don't have to move. Okay. Oh, okay. So this is popping. Mm -hmm. I'm negotiating. Mm -hmm. Give me the night vision. Give me the night vision. Put them up to friendly. You can put this in your discard. Okay. Allied. Mm -hmm. uh, Clear this for me. If you can. I don't think so. <laughs> Does green give me gas, potentially? Yeah. There is gas All in green. Them. Give me yeah. two green. You, no, you still have the flashlight. Still got that flashlight. You're going to obviously put the ambush on the bottom. <laughs> Am I forced? I'm not forced to take it? Uh... I'm going to say no. Okay. You are the designer <laughs> I probably of this game. Need, I probably need to fix the text, but this is the old text. Oh, okay. Hopefully I've made it clear in the future. Retrieve a card from your discard pile if I place the spare parts down. So oh. that was one action to move, mm -hmm. no action to resolve encounter, one action to no, no. trade, one yep. action to... Mm -hmm. So I've got well, one action scavenge. left. So yeah, got I've, one got, left. I've got one action left. Let's just move. You can move to me. we got to go back to the van. We could store our fuel in the van. We need one more fuel. Yeah, but we yeah, can start so we'll storing. we'll be able to scavenge at the very beginning. Yeah. Okay, that's what I'll do. You're getting hungry. Hmm. I also I forgot to do that on my turn. Pumped up to five. Here you go. Oh no, I just hit 12, didn't it? <laughs> it's going to. Yeah. 12's okay. Are you outside? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's going to. Go ahead. It's a nice thing. Yeah, how have you not, you haven't been taking your frost? I did not take frostbite yeah, you're not for like it. two turns. No, no, just, I don't know. One or At two. least two turns. <laughs> take four. He's, he's right. <laughs> okay. Roll your <laughs> dice. <laughs> Why are we relying on this one? He, going off like six. Thank God. Barricade. And 12. Mm -hmm. Definitely hit. You were the one out staying outside. Pneumonia. You must spend two actions to move. That's horrible. We could not have gotten a worse one for you. <laughs> Did you draw a card? I haven't yet. Okay, get that herbs and spices card. You may want to dig for it, too. Take a free action discard, too, to draw one. That's an advanced level designer tip. Should I, like, do you have herbs and spices? I if you don't like have I it, you do. should 100% do a free action to discard two of your cards to draw on. I feel like you I will play be. really well. So, ooh. Okay, so I'm discarding. I'll keep actually one of those. I'll discard two, mm -hmm. so I can draw one. Nope. Well, that's, you only do it once per turn, so I can't, you can't do it again. Oh, no. I was going to just I mean, throw you can, everything. You can do a draw. You can do a take an action to draw a card. I mean, you can just start straight up digging. I just was saving you an action on the first one. I'm moving. At least staying inside. Okay, you have two actions left. Yes. Um, I'm scavenging for one. Okay. Green. Yep. There we go. God. Final fuel. fuel Equip immediately. Need. Too bad he's going to die. Yeah. Well, I can go over the if you want to play after someone's eliminated rules. <laughs> and, and then there we could just straight if, up go murder. That we could just murder. If you have a bad, if you have a bad player. <laughs> nope. They didn't get it. I get two damage, but they kill the wolf. So Wolf is dead. Oh yeah, that's good. It was a good thing. I made, I made them friends with you. So boys, I have one more turn. <laughs> okay. Uh, just so you know, 
Uh, technically, in the order sequence, it's resolve all monster activations and like end effects, like your pneumonia. Then, if everyone's lived and on the van, then you win. So we need to alleviate his frost nip, or we we cannot win. Because there's no way we can get him to hear this without the driver. The driver would help you move. Y'all need to give me food. Outside of your turn, but y'all need to give I me mean, food. I mean, one, two, three. You're, you're so far away with that. Food pneumonia. doesn't heal you. Well, he could. Well, aren't you up to five? Aren't you up to five hunger? Oh my god, I am. He needs that too, because he'll take two damage when he starts starving to death. So he's really in trouble. Okay. I've done everything I could. You've died. To right. make things yeah. right. You're, you're up. up. No, I'm up. I'm up, right? Yeah. Okay, let's go. Where are you going? I don't know. I need the dice to roll. Let's see how ah, much worse this thing can get. We're definitely near the end of this playthrough, video, I'll tell you that. Twelve. Back roads. Oh my god! That's a, you could go down. But that could also be bad. I mean, in general, the tiles are about 50-50, and we don't have a lot of scavenge mm -hmm. locations, so I think, mm -hmm. like, our odds of this being good are actually better now. With, are okay. Yeah. With what I'm seeing, I think. Mm -hmm. Um... I am. Oh, I can only scout you once. No. I have to draw a card. <laughs> I had. I have bombs now in my. I hand. have two saw launchers and two tackles in my hand, That's so I'm gonna do the so same great. cycle. I'm gonna do the cycle to get a new card. Oh, check this out. That could be good. I guess I should kill this guy. Right? Does it involve saving me? They're allied. They'll kill him. But and they I can take he that damage. First. Like. Yeah, but in the grand scheme of things, I can take five damage. Like, that is the least of my concerns. I need to help you as best I can. Yes. Is there any way for us to help him? I mean, we need to start moving towards him. Yeah. Here's what I'm going to do first. First action, Nail Bomb. Deal five damage up to three monsters, blah, blah, blah. Or remove all monster tokens from an adjacent tile. Beautiful. <gasps> that's huge. Oh, my God. That's amazing. Clear that out. Oh, my God. That's amazing. Okay, I, I just saw the light for a brief second, just like a, like a glimpse. Why are you? I've done everything I could. Have Two, you seen three, me make an incorrect decision four. in terms of my actions? I have not. Oh, but I have to tackle a good person. <sighs> We're we are actually very close. I'm gonna go down. That's a good one. Draw a card. Mm -hmm. It's two. Hmm. Are there any cards that deal me damage as soon as I step inside? Mm -hmm. uh, the no. bandit camp. Bandit camp. But there's only one of those, and you found it. Okay, thank God. That's two, right, for me. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to. I'm trying to focus and not make the same mistakes. I made yeah. last time. Nail bomb. Um, nail bomb. Move. I'm gonna fortify. I can't do much else. There's no way for him to heal us, is there? Not with how far away he is. I don't have food, bro. Here, put. Let's fortify the suburbs in the van. Okay. Not tundra. I'll move my. I'll move my hunger up. No, I mean. Um, like the path that I'm walking towards. You're gonna need to draw food. You're gonna need to get herbs and spices, but you can potentially save yourself. I mean, he potentially. I hear you. Potentially. Also, Jesse starts taking immense damage from this point forward. Why? Because you're you're also getting hungry. No, I'm okay. <laughs> I mean, in the grand scheme of things, it's yeah. I mean, you could come get the food that you gave me originally, just on my time. Okay. Are you? That, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna get this saw gun out for future problems. And they're gonna kill your bear after your bear hits. My bear's everyone. gonna hit them for five each. Then they're going to deal eight damage to it and it's dead. We're so just assuming that there's a future, by the way, but you know. Okay. My hunger is up to four. I'm down to 20, but you know, the robust Nine. contractor is doing okay. Nine Boom, is look mean. at that. Barricade, baby. Oh, wow. Well done. Okay, and nine is yep. Tundra. Go ahead and push that time marker forward. Yep. I'm going to go ahead and draw a card. Now, I could do a free drop and draw. That should right? be a two. No, so didn't I hit. You hit the. Exposure. Okay. I'm doing the strategic drop and draw. Mm -hmm. Oh, it should be a three. Into then. the shadows, place a non-boss monster attached to you to the top of the monster deck and add a monster token to your tile. Interesting. Okay. Help me. Here's what I'm thinking. One, two, three. Bold. You're gonna take an exposure, right? I am. Way. Yes. The vault. Move to another revealed vault tile. Oh man. 
Uh, no reveal vault tiles. That would be great if that was that. But there's no way for us to find out. So I got one action left. Yeah, we're great on monsters right now, though. I mean, we are. We've got our friends here. We've made friends with the Nordic tribe. We may have to murder them <laughs> since the child's. We might. We might. Uh, before I left, actually, let me scavenge for red. Draw yeah, two red cards. That. Food, 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 food. Let me hand. Oh. Parts are the only thing I'm going to take. Mm -hmm. Hmm. Hmm. Don't look okay, at Okay, you're starving now. You're going to take two damage from that, two damage from this. Four damage. Oh, great. Jesse's at five. I mean, you're going to die first. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's a race? Yeah. Hmm. Okay, so draw race, a card at the top of my turn. race to the bottom at this point. Oh, and yes, and this. Nine. We definitely have a nine. We just moved yeah, off of it. Yeah, farm and tundra. Hmm. Okay, so draw a card. <laughs> Cure a survivor for all status effects and so reduce hunger by two. Oh, and reduce hunger by two. I forgot I did that. Yes! I'm at three. Ha-ha. <laughs> I told you he could save himself. Now you can move for one action, too, more importantly, because you need to get your ass over to that caverns and deliver that child safely, please. Spending two. Do I want to throw those out? As a free draw? Mm-hmm. I mean, go for it. I'm going to, instead of that, do this one. So does that go no, over there? No, it has to be your own card. Hmm. Okay, fine. I'll do that. Um, ooh. Oh, Okay. I'm sc I think I should scavenge to see if I can get some food for Jesse. Because then I can mm -hmm. use another action to he heal him. Mm -hmm. Come on! <sighs> Discard. I mean, yeah, you don't have to keep it if you don't want to carry it. We don't need it. Could have reloaded the flamethrower if I didn't give it to those Nordic guys. What are they doing with it? Not Apparently they've done nothing, nothing. with it so far. <laughs> I'm moving... I don't have anything to help Jesse with. I mean, I'm just going to die. It's not a problem. <laughs> I can give him food. He, he just needs to sprint back over to me. We can meet in the van or something. It's my turn next. Um, so I'm moving down one. Mm -hmm. I think I should scavenge again. See if I get mm -hmm. lucky. Yes, Jesse! That's there great. we go. So you can give that to him for free. Oh, I'm using my action. Discard oh. a food card to reduce hunger by the amount on that card for all players three. in range. Three so for both everyone. Of, so I am at one. And Jesse, you cool. are Very good. Three. Cool, cool, cool. I still have one more action, uh, which I will spend on drawing a card. I, why don't you move towards the caverns? Because I don't want to be exposed anymore. You have to get to the caverns. I know, but I can make it to the caverns well, in, you've one, got, in one move. You have move. to get to the caverns and activate the star. I don't... And if you move through the yeah, tundra straight, it's a... We're, we're far away from exposure. Oh no, if I go there, I have to do a test. Yeah. I could get exposure now. Go. And then die. No, I could die this turn. There's No, it doesn't make sense. I would die this turn if I get if I don't roll. If you well. fail, yeah, you have to you have to you have to roll poorly. You have to roll under a six. Yeah, you're good. Yeah. You'll get in there, bros. You're not gonna roll under a six, bros. You wouldn't roll under a six. Okay, he's probably right. I mean, his, our luck has not been on our side. That's true. Okay, we need to find some medical supplies, which is at the vault potentially to heal. I'm drawing a card. Okay, I respect <laughs> that. Your hunger goes up, but otherwise you're okay. Monsieur? Wait, it's me. Take up? I'm really bad at this. The order thing oh, has really Lord. messed me up. I, I am know. locked I am locked into the clockwise. Clockwise motion. <laughs> Seven. That's gonna escalate this. That's okay. Four spaces to nine. That's okay. No, that's not okay. That's fine. See, I told you I shouldn't go to the See, I don't feel like I have a lot to do. I'll draw a card. I mean check this place, because it might be a vault. Mm. That'd be clutch. That'd be very clutch. Yep. I'm gonna, so, I'm gonna drink this morning Joe first. Dude, you got an all your morning morning yeah, Joe's. There's only three. Um, it is no. not. It's a rail yard. Free, free scavenge. scavenge. I'm gonna go red. Okay. And if you end here, it's a draw monster. Fuel. Uh, could you clear this it. threat from us? Uh, so that I can not just right now. run. I only have three cards. You can just go step into the threat though. Okay. Oh no! Wait Just a minute! Me. I can't go through the tundra because we I'll saying. die. We said yeah, that. I didn't understand what you guys. Meant. I mean, you can move to next turn, and we have to wait, and we have to go like another round, which is bad for us right now. That's all I'm saying. Or I could do this and end here. If yeah. you take but that, then you, you're not gonna get same, through that. Yeah, discard a gear, take five damage. I, could, you definitely I can definitely want to stop gear. here. You want to go one, two, and stop. I can discard the gear. All right. 
I could. I, I'm just saying I could. I mean, if you step on this one, you I won. Okay, so I did one here, right? Yes. And I did. I got a free scavenge. I'm gonna scavenge again. Cause free scavenge doesn't count. I got some food. That's two. I'm gonna go three. Draw a card. Then I'm gonna go four because I'm gonna deliver the fuel into the van. Mm. Let's put a fuel token on there, and we, we can use that to count up our three. Get my get my space back. Uh, these guys are nice. They would attack any monsters in range. No, they but... went up one. Why? Because we went through six, right? After you go oh, through yeah, six. Right. Doesn't matter. They're still, still not nice. shooting they're me. Still that's, nice. all, that's all I mean. It matters. Okay. Because they're eight. not wearing. Eight. There is eight. Right Band. there, protected. Barricade. And here in the mountains now. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry. Wrong one. And off. Okay. I'll barricade that. Okay. I got a lot of stuff in my hand here. Don't forget I mean, the discard too. Yeah, I did that. I did that last turn. I'm gonna do that again. Drop in two. Yeah. Can I get rid of one of those for that or no? Okay. <laughs> Drawing one. Grappling hook. Long range. Mm. Move to any revealed tile in range without triggering its effect. Oh, bro! Can I give him the the child? Yes, you can. Wait, what? Yeah, you can. Can that's, he? That, yeah, that's in the notes. It's like a scavenge card. Like since you're on the same space, they can es he can escort the child instead. It's actually from the original game. There was a scientist you had to escort. It's the same thing. Can he request it from me? It's a yeah. It's a free yeah, action. Give me the, give me you the guys kit. can just. Thank you. And to zip them up. You're like Batman. So I've to... done. I've done what? I've so far. You've done zero. I've done nothing. <laughs> cool. So I'm gonna. You notice how the talking I feel like is reduced because we're like trying to. Yeah, we're trying out. to win. Yeah, we're, we're actually trying to win. So at the beginning, the competitive thought... nature has like increased <laughs> immensely now. So I'm gonna move for one. Wait, why don't you use your grappling hook? Oh, because it's two tiles away. I'm gonna. I have to. Well, you got well, Can I propose something else? Equip grappling hook. Grapple. Grapple. Ooh. I'm in tundra though. Doesn't matter. No, you ignore you, effects. You start on here. Got that. Yeah. Equip. It's not a grapple, move. Grapple. You're using the grappling hook. Activate the star. Nicely done. Yes. Okay. Well done. Okay. That was a badass. We've saved the child who injured, got injured by the bear. Now badass. all we need to do is get to the van, and we win. Because each of us has a fuel. I've already delivered my fuel. I'm just gonna sit and wait. I'm gonna barricade the shit out of the That's van. That's four actions. Yeah. I'm taking two damage, mm -hmm. but I'm not starving to death. That's right. What do you have? Three? Three. If I die in the van, I, we also lose. If yeah. you, yeah, if you, on your turn you die, like if we finish your turn, you take your two damage or whatever from hunger and you're dead, you will be dead. Mm -hmm. But that said, reminds me of my favorite playtest ever at like a PAX where that happened, like yeah. they were about to win and they finished the next, the next player wanted to finish to win because they were like right there. Uh -huh. And they started chanting, Bring body in the van. Body in the van. Like they're like, bring him with us. His dead body in the van. Takes up for Jesse and then for me too, right? Yeah, so should be Jesse. at eleven. Great. So I need to end it in a closed area. Dice, please. You can do that. Van, just end the van. No, I I'll die. No, go this go this way. You said you were gonna discard. That's true. Right. I don't know, man. You got a tough choice. You gotta get through that ice cliff first. Seven. That's right now. You just passed it. Okay, that's 12, good. But the ice three. cliffs, I'm telling you, I'm going to get it. Y'all are too confident. I'm going to get it. I know but it. But listen, you were in the vault for the cold snap right there. That's good. Was I <gasps> covered? I wasn't oh. covered. Oh, oh, no. Is, is there food? Is there food in the thing? Oh, no. I can't heal. That doesn't do anything. Hypothermia. What do you have? Uh, Draw, suffer six damage. We're done. Wait, what? You, I just froze to death. <laughs> no, you didn't. Well, uh -huh. after delivering the child. I mean, we can let we can. <laughs> we worked so hard for this. It we were can, very. Close. It seems like it fits. I mean, <laughs> the odds of us getting to the end there were, we were on. No, a no, roll. no. It's drawn his turn. No, it's no. when the card's drawn. Suffer which is six right damage. Now. He just got, I, got struck. I was tournament. cold. I swung across the caverns, exposed <laughs> myself to the open Through world. Through the tundra. Handed off the young girl. Yeah. So this only affects him once. And as, That's right. And as I passed her But it's off, a big one, <laughs> as yeah, you can see. I just sort of froze in position. So you all make it back to the van. Look, go I ahead, never... finish out. Let's see if you and I can make it. I, I may be the only one who makes it. <laughs> I don't think, I don't think I make it. 
Um, yeah, but let's be honest, you didn't achieve any of the objectives. And technically, like, the way this would end is, like, this fuel was dropped there, and we would need to go all the way over there. We're in deep shit. <laughs> so. And I had another fuel that I yeah. could have equipped. Hmm. Draw a food card. Go to the ice cliffs. I want to see you die there. <laughs> yeah, you could have just, yeah, like, you got to do this anyway. You could have also died. Let's see if I'm, you die. I'm scavenging first. Okay. <laughs> food. Okay. Ice cliffs, you have to do it too. Moving one. Roll. <gasps> it is six exactly. Yeah, that's fine. Success. You reduce hunger by one, technically. I actually do have one hunger. Yeah. Then I'll move here. Okay, you gotta sneak past that monster. I don't even. I don't or are you just gonna take it? That. You're just gonna take it? Yeah. I mean, five or under, you wanna try? Try sneaking. Yeah, I'm sneaking right now. Let's try. Nope. Nope. Bear. There you go. That's a loss. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> and I have to discard and my thing too. if you bring too. the bear back to Why? the van, right. it's attacking you. <laughs> I mean, I could survive it, but yeah. So that's one, two, three. three. Mm -hmm. Uh, no, 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 I actually do have something. Stun? Oh yeah. You can... Rancid onion. He would live. Stun. And what, deal a couple damage? No, oh, just poison. poison. Stun and poison. One damage per turn, yeah. Boom. They are still trading. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to get that done. Ridiculous. All right, so your turn would over. Your hunger would go up. Bear mm -hmm. would unstun. Take and one I'm damage. And I'm still frozen. You all don't even know that I'm frozen. Okay, let's go. Let's see what, let's see what yeah, I... Yeah, we, we never found out. Nine. Okay. Definitely have some nines. Mm -hmm. Put some tokens out there. Mm -hmm. That's fine. Is there a maximum of threat tokens that could be on the board? On, on any when, given tile? Why would there three, be? Three. Three. There's a three max. <laughs> There's a three max. For reasons, yes. Yeah. Um, so, Mr. I'm just Burly here, Construction I'm just Man. Here to... I think you can make it, right? Well, well, he's mm -hmm. already made it. He just doesn't have enough gas. <laughs> you know, well, Where are you? I mean, make it there. All right, I'm going to equip, equip this flare gun. I would need another ammo. I'm gonna shoot the ammo oh, to, to deal seven one. damage to that bear and attach uh -huh. all monsters in range to me. So I just take all those characters. <laughs> why? Because he shot a flare gun in the air and it- But why do we him. want him to have everyone? Just well, I so can that take you it, can number maybe one. survive. And the bear is the only one taking the damage though? Yeah. Okay. So fire is poison. Oh, you already I have, you. You, you have enough there, seven, okay. Eight. Um, because why not? <laughs> well, then I'm going to do chuck them. Oh, well, then I have to throw it at somebody and they'd get mad at me. So I guess I don't want to do that. It's unfortunate. That's one. Let's put tool butt down for two. Gives me more storage. Oh, you definitely want to trade with them right now. So that they kill the bear. All right, yeah, three. Give him the tool belt. Oh, man. Four, I'm going to draw a card. No, four, four, I will uh, increase my hunger and fortify our location. The van. Uh, uh, I'm frozen. Yeah, I know. Do hunger I roll still? Up? No, you're done. Your well, turn's what's over. The, what's, the, what's the... Technically, the game's over, but we wanted to no, see No, no, but like, what's your make it to the end conditions? You said when when a player dies, you have like a when caveat. A player, that's when like, can you when survive? The game is balanced so that when a player dies, you have lost. Mm -hmm. So like, think pandemic or something. Mm-hmm. There are rules to continue to sort of see it. So we're just strictly playing on like borrowed time to, just see, for the heck of it. to see if we can have so, Z win. Yeah. Or two thirds win or something. I don't know. Mm -hmm. mm. Oh, Jesse. I feel like Jan made me lose. I died. Oh, I died. my fault? Yeah. You, you just ran it, up in there. It was literally on your turn that you I died. You should have anyway, stopped on the suburbs. This was, bear would be dead. It was literally on it your turn. It would go back to you. I think Jan would die on this turn anyway. Why would I die? How are you going to not die? I just move into the space and deliver the thing. Yeah, but we need another fuel. We, can we need it. three. I can make we it. We start with three fuel. players. I can make it to the fuel. Eight. Oh, I got so. Oh, oh, I got eight. Perfect, Barricade perfect. Now. Okay, so I move one uh -huh. and deliver the, the yeah. said fuel. Mm -hmm. But technically, it's one per player. We started with three. So. Yeah, you can't take off. No, no, no. I know, I know. So Unless let's we see. have like a dig from the graveyard fuel or something. A food card of your choice from the scavenger discard pile. Front, I have uh, so many frying pans. 
I so, think that's it. All that being said, we uh, have fun. First that's off, the part no. Part. First off, like, all right. No, that stepping was great. away from our first oh, impressions Lord. and our like experience with the game, from a designer side and a publisher side, your s- sense of the gameplay that we just had. Was it what you expected? Did it display your game in a way that you're, like, excited to show people? Yeah, I'm really... So, listen, I mean, you know, in these cooperative games where, like, the game is designed to beat you, I personally love... Of course. ...when people lose. Because it's hard. This makes me um, want to go do it. I love when people lose. So, like, set a watch, like, this. I love seeing people lose. Um... Because so, it's like you beat them. I enjoyed that. Mm-hmm. It's you uh, beat them, yeah, right? yeah, a little bit. I mean, I also was playing, so I also lost. I mean, it's not <laughs> you lost to yourself. claim victory um, in the end. But um, yeah, I just love seeing... I love seeing the struggle. I love seeing the... the, the cho- I mean, like, right, what do games really come down to, right? It's like yeah. interesting choices, right? And I felt like there were a lot of moments we had interesting choices. Yep. And I also love when we have heroic moments. And I felt like the grappling hook was a super heroic oh, moment. Oh, it was great. It was a great moment. It, it um, ended. You were a martyr, you know? but, yeah. you know, besides um, that. So those kind of things I love seeing. Um, personally, I also just... We recently changed how the... Uh, uh, some playtesters were feeling that it was too easy to just get them to be allied with you. Okay. And, like, then you can glide through because they're half the deck or one-third of the deck or whatever. Sure. And uh, we, we altered a couple things on that, and I thought it worked really well. Like, we had good tension. Mm-hmm. It was not easy. No. We were actively keeping them Happy. allied because yep. we had to because we got beat up by them. We made a choice to keep um, them allied. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. And, uh, and we paid for that choice. Mm-hmm. Um, whereas before, it just felt like automatic strategy, get them allied. They never really bothered you. And you'll win off that. Um, and we the, the struggle with that seemed much more balanced. And mm-hmm. especially, uh, I mean, you know, second mission... I guess I would hope was a little easier, but um, you did build it. I told you when you were setting it up that the map you built was not well, going to be right. I mean, it was going to be more difficult. But let's also be honest. The straight eight roll. The, yeah, yeah. The start turn eight roll. Yeah. I mean, that was cruel. Listen, it happens a I lot. I know it happens. It happens like, a lot. That was cruel. Yeah, it happens like, a that lot. was a bad way. All right. We're gonna be there doing... are so many people that are like, if I roll that, I just re-roll or like set it up again. <laughs> we're, and we're... I'm like, dude, you can totally, like, even though we rolled that eight roll and it sucked, we could have. That, that is not what lost the it game. It was for us. not. It was Jan that lost us the no, game. No, it was you <laughs> rushing to the caverns, Mister. No. Were you going to get there? Yes. Look where I am now. Dead in the little man. by little. I was going to be freezing to death without any without any gasoline. So all that being said, we're going to be doing a preview and hopefully some other coverage uh, on Maximum Apocalypse here. Uh, first time digging into this, and I have to say, like from my first impressions, no, again. Almost perfect environment. Sure. You you know, the luxury of being able to like go to a convention or sit down in front of you and play with someone that knows, enjoys, and can run it for you yep. is great. But you have me excited to do what you were talking about downstairs. I, Jan's 100% right with your taste in games. Mm-hmm. I like messy games. I like games that give me interesting and strategic decisions with a degree of randomness and let me feel like I can play with the world you've given me. And that, for me, is what you have here. I love the post-apocalyptic theme. I'm excited to start digging into some of the other decks that you have and what you're including in this brand new, you know, brand new right. Kickstarter. Mm-hmm. The, the fact that you have standalone scenarios in this gives me a world to explore and a whole different like chain of progression that I can mix in. And if I want to take some of that base game or some of that original right. content and just throw it in to add chaos, but I, I got to be honest. Some of the stuff you'd said some of your fans had overlooked in the earlier adaptions of the game is some of the stuff I'm the most excited about. I am going to try what to What did I say you. again about them? What did they overlook? The fact that you can build the map. <laughs> oh, build your you map, want. yeah, yeah. The, the breakdown, the, the fact that you can kind of open up and experiment with this system that you've given. It's a bunch of mechanics, and then you get to decide how you play with them. I want to play a game where we just do a long line and see what We're happens. We're not going to make it even. I have never it, done but that. But it would be hilarious. Yeah. And so I'm. if you stay a little bit longer, if the wife's giving you permission, yeah. if the kids are going to bed before you get home, I may or may not be trying to convince him. <laughs> corridor of death. To do, to do a corridor, corridor of, of death. death. Huh? Just because I think this game, because the game allows you to do it. You've oh built yeah, the you game. can totally do You've it. You've built a game where the where the conditions. It does say, not break a rule. It's like literally like a map. Every map tile needs to be adjacent to one other yes. map tile. Yes, and so in my mind, that seems 
ridiculous and fun. I mean, you could build an O, too. It doesn't really, right? It's yeah. like that just yeah. a line in two stairs directions. Stairs as well. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> you can so, do stairs. All that being said, uh, first impressions, diving in. I'm super excited about your system. I'm super excited about what you're bringing to people. Uh, excited for our... F I, I think the people that, that at least agree with my taste in games... Mm -hmm. We'll go head over heels about yeah. this. Well, there's what no about you? listen. You're like not as this, messy as I am. This is a luxury though of this game too. Like there's, it's not like there aren't fans of this game out sure. there. Like yeah. this is, I would attribute this game 100 percent of the reason why I didn't take a job. So mm -hmm. the whole way the Rockman yep. games exists is I was doing it on the side. Like I'm sure you guys started with Quackalope. Like it's like a thing you love to do, and you sort of just do it for free. Oh no, my life fell apart. It was all I had. <laughs> well, I mean, like I mean, most people usually start. Yeah. in the games industry as a side hustle because they're yeah. passionate about mm -hmm. it. Um, so I had done like a Kickstarter and I had been to some conventions and enjoyed mm -hmm. going to them and whatever. And um, I launched this Kickstarter when I had sold a computer business, a hosting business that I had um, because my wife was changing careers and I was gonna be a stay at home dad mm -hmm. for my second child, nice. who's now four. Mm -hmm. um, and I just, but I mean, this wasn't like, this is gonna be my job now. It's like, yeah. I'm just gonna do this when the kid's sleeping as something to keep you me going. You want to stay busy. Yeah. I also had to transition. When you sell a company, it's not like, it's sold, I'm done. Like There were like months of transition as well. Um, but um, that afforded me the luxury of diving into this. And this Kickstarter launched four or five days before my second one was born. Mm -hmm. And it broke $100,000. Awesome. So it was like a huge like, oh, I guess I'm going to dedicate a little bit more time than I thought of this yeah, yeah. Like while I'm a stay-at-home dad. Yeah. Um, and then it... The thing that I think about this game, we all know that games aren't for everybody. Mm -hmm. That some games hit yeah. you more than others. What I think is so strong about Max Apocalypse to me personally, um, and why I've stuck around it so long and do it, is because if it gets you, like if you like it, sure, it's gonna you hook love you. it. You're like, yeah, I had so much fun. I want to play this character, this character, and this character. I, I sort there's of... four characters in this game, this standalone game. I think there's eleven from the previous mm -hmm. games to mm -hmm. play through. So it's like, this character feels completely different. You know what I mean? Like there's so much to delve into. This monster mix feels completely different than like mm -hmm. robots and other monster mixes feel. I want to I want to invite him back to do a confirmation bias on his own title. So confirmation bias is a, is a series where we take extremes, is he going to take the opposite extremes on positive <laughs> and negative? Yeah. Self contained videos. So okay. so ten reasons to not play Maximum Apocalypse, uh -huh. except you're giving the reasons yeah. about your well, own title because it is because because what I you're certainly have some from the original series which whole, I'm trying to correct in but this the, one. But so. the whole theory is exactly what you hit on right there. Games games don't have to be, and they aren't right for every mm -hmm. single yeah. person. And recognizing that I think is a powerful thing because you can then you're then free to design a game that, like you said, when it hooks someone, yeah, it's in them. It's like Kingdom Death. That was the first one I did the series on. It is not right for 90% of the people that sit down in front of it. But it was so right for me, I yeah. spent a year and a half of my life And obviously when over. people get that, like Kingdom Death yeah. Monster, the amazing thing about Kingdom Death Monster, like as a publisher, is calculate the average pledge level, the pledge yes. number uh, on yeah. their thing. Yeah. I yep. think it's like 400 plus dollars. Yep. That's yes, crazy. Yep. So, Jim, we've both been there. First impressions, <laughs> deep dives. You're not as, mu as, as much of a messy gamer as I am. So you were 100% right when you were saying, this is going to be everything I want on the table. Mm -hmm. What's your sense of it? I no, mean, but I actually thought it was quite elegant and streamlined for what we experienced so far right now, right? Like, okay, I, mean, I, I think the, what, what, brutally, makes, what, what can make Maximum Apocalypse like complicated or messy is not even like the mechanics themselves. It is the way that you're building out the scenarios that you're going to engage. So it's, it's all player-driven. It's the framework. How, exactly. Yeah. But the game mechanics, the way that everything flowed out, the way the cards, everything was very clear. Like sure. usually when I think of messy, I also think in terms mechanically. It's kind of like, there's like, like, or like, like rule fiddliness well, it's or like something. Obtuse. It's like Feudum, for instance. Exceptions. Like I hate this. Oh, I hate that so Adding much. this piece and like I've struggled so much with adding like these types of enemies that aren't strictly enemies, but whatever. They but do like doing different. this, giving them like flavor, like humans can be different without making this messy was 100% the Pretty biggest good. design yeah. struggle. Because you don't want this to be like super fiddly, like different levers of like their hat, yeah. like, you know what I mean? Like a bunch of things to manage in between. Like this was not, this isn't like I thought of this and it's like, yep, yeah, that's done. Well, it's, like it's this has of, been a struggle. It's sort of interesting because the games that I like that I declare as messy mm -hmm. are not messy in terms of always checking the rulebook mechanically. It's like Feudum. Feudum is an hour long teach. It is a heavy euro to get down on the table. Mm -hmm. it, is, it is as messy it as Doesn't it take be. up like the entire table too? 100%. Yeah, it's but gorgeous, here's the thing. Though. I know. Yeah, Once I, your I, brain is wrapped around the 15 different actions you yeah. can do and the way that you know resources are sequencing with each other, it's actually a very elegant game. It's just 
heavy. Mm -hmm. It isn't messy in the mm -hmm. sense of mechanics. It's messy yeah, in the sense of opportunity. Know, definitely know what you mean. Um, so yeah, I, I think you're 100% right. We have a few other videos to film, so we're not sure. going to go too, on too long. But whatever the case, thank you for coming. You're this welcome. Thanks for so having me. This was so much fun. I am glad we lost. That means we have a chance to redeem ourselves <laughs> when we future, do yeah. the chasm of death. Whatever the case, whatever you do, remember to do the important thing. Get out and play some games. We'll see you next time. Thank you.